Hey, what's good, boys? We back at it again. It's time for another glorious day of Baldur's Gate. Today, we take on the planar sphere, maybe a dragon or two, and then finally we go fuck up Irenicus's bitch ass and spell hold. Let's get it started, boys. No time to waste. Stream continue here. All right, so I think we're literally about to walk in to the planar prison. Pretty sure that's where we were at. How's everyone's levels looking? At least is close. Let's see, still sitting on just project imagery. We really need another level seven spell. He's using the sequencers right now. <clears throat> hmm. What do we have down here for Edwin? Oh, we have a couple ruby rays, so. Hmm. We can sequencer a couple secret words that actually could work. Ah, oh, I didn't actually miss the beginning for once. Hell yeah. What's up, XZF for you? Hope life is treating you well, my friend. Yeah, we just starting today. Just starting. Hmm. If you wish, you must gather your party. Trying to think, the biggest difficulty that we're gonna experience in this fucking place is by far the fallen planetar. I have no good solution for that. I have no solution for that actually. Hmm. Oh shit. Maybe. No, that wouldn't work. I'm trying to think, what if I just took like a fuck ton of protection from magical weapons and just fucking tanked them like that? But I don't think that would work, to be honest. I really don't. Yes. <clears throat> We either have to take Lavak and Told Your Eyes down instantly, or we have to deal with the fact that they have our Bane. Who the fuck's this guy? Fucking gnomes in 2018, boys. Well, let's go do it up, boys. Let's do it up. See what happens. I'm nervous, lads. I'm nervous. It is done. All right, boys. We're inside. This sparrow is ready to fly. Yes, of course. Yes. Don't have Fate beckons us all. What is it now? I'll help however I can. Cool. Come with me, Ben. Hey, Cog Whistles, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Bless you and welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying it here, my guy. <clears throat> all right. Simple. Everyone gets some melts up. No, we do. That's what I'm saying, dude. Just whistle. Whistle while you work, dude. Alright, let's kill him, boys. Let's get him. Oh, we're cursed already. Wait, why is nobody else hitting him? He's immune. Oh, he's immune to piercing. He still takes fire damage, though, so let's fucking hit him. What the hell? Not gonna let Hair to least solo this. Come on, guys. Give me a hand. There we go. Fucking weirdos. Quality AI. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Oh, we gotta go and fucking decurse this idiot too, otherwise he can't heal. Uh, we'll drop one of these and we'll take a remove curse and we'll do that on our next first. Because obviously, we don't need to heal him right now. He's fine for the moment. 
Hmm, let's see what we get here. A breach spill. Always good. I, I will be done. And a couple more useless spells. Good shit. Wow. It's gonna say nobody can learn spell turning. That's impressive. Tell you, Nolly is my girl, dude. She doesn't fail spells. She knows what I like. She knows what I want from her. I want her to right click shit. Let's see. Nobody needs this shit. No one's gonna be using regular fucking bullets. Not on my watch, boys. Yes. Uh... Using any ranged ammunition aside from Melf's minute meteors. In 2017, plus one, year of our lord, dude. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, boys, here we go. No turning back now, we're stuck in here. We're stuck in the planar prison. There's nothing we can do. There is nothing I can do. But I must do something. No escape for us now, lads. We go all the way. Well, we struck a fucking blow for the Doom Guard right there, boys. Now let's go and rest just to get this curse off this idiot real quick. Um, I'm missing an idiot. There's the other idiot. Alright, where are we at? Remove curse. There we go. How the fuck does this dude not have full HP? Alright, now drop these garbage potions. Give those back. Put those in here. Oh, I guess. Never mind. I'm not gonna put those in here. Take these instead, buddy. There you go, my friend. Yummy, right? Delicious. It is a risk, and risk is everything. That's exactly right, dude. <clears throat> I like that guy a lot. The Pitch Queen brooks no insults. You are welcome, Larson. Care little about your problems so long. That's what I'm saying, dude. Hair to least knows exactly what I'm thinking. Alright, I just want to get fire up on our squishier companions here. And then I'm good. I don't care to commands on myself, obviously, because that's just silly not to have that. That's just fucking silly right there. Absolutely ridiculous. The cool thing is every single buff we've put up lasts multiple turns, so we don't have to rest again for a hot minute. Unless we run out of uh, meteors here. We should be okay. Do an improved taste on Hair Dallas, and then let's uh let's do it up. Get a mirror image up on him, and then we'll go inside. I haven't really played with these harps too much. I'm gonna give those a try, I think, right here. Okay, do a buff. Readier than a red cheat maiden, my merry friend. <laughs> Weird, eh? Let's try to see what happens here. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Does a knockback too? What the hell? One might one might even say that this is broken. Going to do the defensive spin still here as well. Where is everybody else in my party? You guys need to get your asses up here, dude. We got shit to do. All right, let's go and drop a drop a skeleton over here on these idiots, and we'll save our gin for the next fight. Do greater Malison. And she doesn't have any other spells, does she? We can drop a chaos here, I suppose. How's here to least doing? He's doing okay. Gonna have fresh mirror image on our boy over there. He should be okay. The other people are like stunned or something. What the fuck does this thing do? Let me see if it's possible as well as confused for three rounds. These fuckers are really confused. 
Okay, well the three rounds literally just ended, so maybe that was it. Still. Oh. Good shit on Okay, what else we got here? I don't think there are any goodies in here. They just get the Cloak of Protection, which is decent, but uh, nothing, uh, nothing to write home about, really. Now we do it on level twos. We get another mirror image, we don't. Oh, that's annoying. Let's go and project an image here. You can't even kill Lee Marvin's clone. Fools. The damn fools, boys. Ooh, a little six as we get. You can improve taste one other person. Maybe we'll just do it on a skeleton and send them in like that. Okay. We'll get our immunity up. Before anyone says anything, no, we do not fucking need Fear Ward here. You crazy bastards. Hey, it's a baby 64 in a show cause life treating you, my dudes. But things are going well, friends. How can I help? Yeah, get in here. What are you guys doing? Start attacking. Start slinging some meteors, lads. Where am I? I'm way in the back here. No reload, no fear run. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm not afraid of shit. Is normal I'm having such a hard time in a maze level and watchers keep a six party but they're level 50 ish. Yeah. I wouldn't do watchers keep early. It's doable in SOA, but I wouldn't recommend it for sure. I forgot these guys drop all these uh, potions of invulnerability. That's money in the bank, man. Pimping ain't easy, boys. You hear me? One of them has simple fear. Do they fucking really? You're j you're you're boozling me, dude. Right? Are you just bamboozling me here? For the needy. Checker saves here. Those saves are at four right now, which aren't that good. He didn't put an improvement of this to make this decent. Fuck, that was too late. Okay. We got that up. Holy shit, that is silly. May our deed be sung through the ages. That should hit. Okay. okay contingency up, that's fine. Still got Melfs on almost everybody here. Let's get the gin down. Get a Melfs on my guy up as well. What was Yan doing so far in the back? That was just weird. She had any more Melfs? She does. That's good. I think we should still be okay here. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking midgets, dude. Manlets. Will they ever learn? Look at them run. They're never going to learn, are they? Ridiculous. I killed Bodhishree at the end of the game, no? At level 15, dude? I don't know, man. When I- 
even on a mage, which has arguably... The, unless you're a druid and you're level 15, I'd say you're missed out on a lot of XP, dude. The one spell like Mufi or not ending of need, that would draw a lot of spell. Oh, Dev, how are you today? I'm doing good, Sambo. How's it going, my dude? We can do it in TB. It feels such a dick right now. <laughs> yeah, it was designed for throwing a ball. It was never released as part of Shadows of Om. You're just able to go there if you want. Like, you can do the first two levels, no problem, in Shadows of Om. Third and higher, you're going to have some, run into some troubles, especially if you're playing with SCS. <clears throat> what? Definitely going to have a... There's going to be a glitch or two in your way. But I tip my hat to you, sir. Hope you enjoyed, my friend. All right, now we got hands of Tackock. Obviously, he doesn't need it. He's got the giant belt here. Uh, can she? What? Character is too far away. Well, get your asses up here, dude. <clears throat> Who's missing? Sorry, I can't count. It's good. So she can't even equip these. The only other person who can is Aerie. So I guess Aerie's gonna be my new strength bitch. Nice. <clears throat> hmm. All right, then. Oh, nice. She can actually wear this. Well, that works out well. Uh, if you wish. Hey, Divi, you doing the hell yeah? You know I'm doing the damn thing, dude. That's what I came here to do, son. I doubt this will be the end. We die into a group of little bitch ass spiders. I mean, that was just crazy talk right there. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm getting a little sick and tired of all these sexist remarks coming out of here to Lisa's mouth, boys. Give me a second, I gotta blow my nose here. Alright. You know it's a major one when you equip the hands of tech out gets your inventory management? Hell yeah, dude. Not like anyone else needs that shit. I mean, it's like, Air to Least is the only one who could actually use it and be a downgrade because we got the fucking uh, Gird of Hill Giant Strength. Don't tell me you're turning into an SGW. An SGW. Oh, of course not, dude. I'm just messing with you. I would never. I would never, dude. I think that just, like, blows my mind about that whole thing. It's like, half of what they're saying actually isn't bad. It's the fact that they're actively trying to stop other people from having, spe from speaking or having opinions. That really bothers me. I'm a man who enjoys the Constitution, specifically the Bill of Rights. And uh, when people trot on that, it kind of upsets me. You know what I'm saying, chat? You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm fucking saying. Where can I be of most use? Hmm? Let's put on protection from fear here, boys. Just in case. You never know. You might actually need it at some point. You know what I mean, chat? Let's do it. Fate is a role I am glad to play. <laughs> Fight for social justice, that's right. The same guy who's annoyed that you can't side with the slavers in Baldur's Gate is a man who's a, who's a, yeah, who can I say, dude? I'm a complicated man, boys. What do you want from me? Alright, here to least enter it, dude. Get in there and just cast fucking spells. Okay. Get that true sight up ASAP. 
Can she actually target this guy? He's still invisible. Oh, well, she can. Okay. Should have used spell immunity. Oops. Use this bunch of stuns and whatnot. Okay, time to pull back a little bit here. It's a Malison, right? Okay, yeah, we're good. Really stupid not to actually throw up a rip spell immunity here. I don't know why we're being so lazy with certain spells. Oh, here. I was getting hit by many meteors. Come oh, on, buddy, get out of there. Go back a little bit and uh, rebuff Arena here. Oh, he's trying to hit me with my own pimp. The nerve of this guy. What was it? Oh, Death Spell? Nice. Oh, Death Spell doesn't work on a uh, Afridi. Well, that's interesting. I don't know if that's because it's an actual Afridi or if it's because it's a summoned unit. It's interesting either way, for sure. Is the Afridi confused? No, we're good. He's not confused. Okay. He goes with this uh, fire shields here breaking. Which we really don't want to get hit by, actually. Yeah, no, I, I thought I told you to stop attacking. Did I? Okay, good stuff. It looks like he broke his shit. He hit me with. Both rest. Okay. What do you have? You have nothing useful. There we go. Take it easy, little guy. Demonization, cult of outrage, pretty much, man. Not a big fan. Oh shit, are there traps here? Yeah, you go look for those traps there, buddy. Hey, you can look too. You won't find any because you're actually useless, but you can pretend to look. Just rest up a couple times for the fall. You won't scare. You note to self, cast fucking, uh. Cast spell immunity before fights with mages just to be sure that shit doesn't happen again. That was just stupid of me. It was actually kind of retarded. With nothing bad happened, but something bad could have happened. And so there's just like, there's no point to be risky like that. It's just, just silly, really. Just silly. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. Did I actually just press mirror image twice, canceling my first mirror image by trying to cast a second? I'm so good at this game. SMRT. SMRT. Alright, the furnaces are good to go, boys. Let's go start looking for traps over here. I know there's one right here. Okay. Let's get a... Hmm. Might actually have to rest again. Yeah, almost certainly will. Yeah, because we need to get uh, fresh uh, meteors up on everybody. And uh, 
Yeah, because we got fucking probably an Eddie Golem in here. I do not care How can I help? Help, help, help. Yes. Sure I can. What can I do? So you gotta be ready for that shit. This spell is ready to fly. As a kid map, of course. I am I raven? Should be good here though. Backline's ready for battle. Hitting my boy Hair Dallas with the good shit. Let's do it up, lads. Okay. Do get inside? Oh, we don't actually have a big one. Okay. Here, come at me. Of course, he gets fucking slowed right away because he's fucking brilliant like that. Let's do the spin. I want to get in here and give him the business. I love this so much. That's a lot of fucking minute meteors, boys. I fucking love this. I love this party so much, dude. Holy fucking molly. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, man. Holy shit. Now, to be fair, there are certain things that we have absolutely no way of dealing with yet. Dude, Melf's hit hard. It didn't even a tickle. Not on the Juggernaut Golems. These don't take shit for damage. Two piercing. 14 resisted. Three slashing. 19 resisted, but... Stone Golems, I think, get hit for full damage. No, they're actually just taking fire, too. Well, this one's taking full damage. Why is this one only taking fire damage? That's weird. I wonder why that is. One stone golem took full damage. One stone golem only took fire. Very strange. But yeah, the first one took full damage the whole time. He fucking uh, disappeared pretty quick. Oh shit, we got a fucking beholder up here. Oh uh, no. We are level 14, so we still don't have access to the max level summon skeleton. I'm slightly concerned about that. Oh, good lord. This one doesn't focus you if you build the golem, though. I'm pretty sure if I try to walk by him, he's gonna slap me with shit. When I, w I had when I did this last time, he focused Mazzy as soon as he got she got in line of sight. So I'm inclined to uh, disbelieve such notions, my friend. I'm willing to admit the possibility that something like that could happen, but. If I remember right, no. <clears throat> Is the one on the left or the right? Hey, let's go, boys. Let's go. Is this where Aerie does a transformation change like Edwin? Uh, not to my knowledge. I have no idea of Aerie doing any transformations whatsoever. Yeah, hopefully not, dude. Hopefully not. Alright, here we go, boys. Wish me luck. Fiction for magical weapons. Well, that's rude. Whoa. The fuck was that? 
Wow, he actually died to a death ray. Well, that's interesting. Huh. I might be able to breach it, actually. Yeah, we breached it. Get him, boys. What else do we got in this magical, uh, magical box here? Try some flame arrows. Yeah, get shit on! Hey, okay, did it again. Contingency, little bitch. <clears throat> yeah! Get shit on! Get shit on, you little motherfucker! Wow, he's got a lot of magic resistance, doesn't he? No, the golem crit him and took all the XP. What a bastard, dude. <sighs> Alright, boys. Time for the hardest fight in the game. I don't know what to do here. I really don't. How are we helping the list fortunate like this? That's what I'm saying, dude. We do need to fully buffer this fight, because this fight is hardcore shit for sure. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Your gears are sending a lot of summons? I don't think that's the trick, dude. I don't think- uh, the problem is, Planetara's ignore summons, like, straight up. They j she just bees- she goes straight for my backline, man. No fucks given. I will prevail. And then just fucking starts one shot in my party. Cause he's a punk bitch. Huh, flesh to stone? She's got like 90 MR. There's no way we'd be able to hit her with it. Maybe stack mantles on fucking Edwin. And see if I can get him to tank her. Lavox just gonna throw a fucking breach spell. There's no way I'll be able to keep him up. <clears throat> Invisibility doesn't do anything either. So she can't ch <laughs> Why don't we just go in and just kill my whole fucking party? <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> fuck, dude. Huh. This is where having Nero would be useful. Because she could Dweoma a level 8 spell. I don't think Planetar is good True Sight. So Blind should actually work on them. I haven't tried that. We'll see how that goes later. Do we have enough protection from fires for everybody in the party? That's the question right here. We do not. We need at least one more. No, wait. She's basically immune to fire, isn't she? Yeah, so we only need the four. Okay. Yes. Ow. Ow. Now we do actually have secret word or uh, Ruby Ray's here. Ruby Ray is the only thing that works on taking down a spell trap. If we could sequencer four secret words, we might be able to just blow it up real quick. Hmm. Now. Hmm. That might actually work. Yes. What that might know? actually work. Double sequencer, Ruby Ray afterwards, and then a breach. And he should have no fucking, uh. He should have nothing. Hmm. How can I help? Yes. Well, we'll try. See how it goes. Worst case scenario, we can just fucking straight up run away like little bitches. Yeah, okay, right, buff up, boys. What can I do? Yes. 
Do not care much for being prodded all the time. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, boys. I'm a little nervous, but I believe that this we'll, we can do it, lads. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? Oh shit! We have to uh, litter the uh, thing here. The fake Lee Marvin. The false Lee Marvin, boys. Hit Elise actually hits pretty hard. Hey, is there anything else we can possibly cast on ourselves, boys? We just blur and then we're good. Good job, Mass and Viz, actually, that does give us uh, quite a bonus to saving throws. I think we'll do that. This is good spell shield up too. Protection from fear? Yeah, we could probably do that. Okay. Uh, we definitely do want spell immunity up too. Because this is illusion though, right? So everyone should be able to cast it no problem. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna quick save in case we get a crash, then we'll go ahead and get it started. Did I not tell you to cast this? Oh, fantastic. I love misclicking buttons. Oh, you have to actually point and click it. Well, that's annoying and stupid. Alright, hey everybody. Let's get our immunity up and let's go through it, boys. Some people like Aerie actually have so many immunities they can probably tank for days with that shit. Uh, we do still have an alteration immunity up as well. I don't know if this motherfucker uses a uh, spear of chaos or not, so I'll have to see what happens. Really, everyone goes in and strips his enchantments. That's what we're hoping, dude. I mean, unlikely that it works, but we're gonna give it a try. Yeah, let's do it up, boys. <laughs> Yeah, get him a freedy. Okay, oh, what do we got? So we want to get you up here, start doing this shit. Let's see if we can actually cast a spell on him, right? He's invisible. Oh, it looks like he isn't. Okay. And if that's the case, let's sequencer him right away. Okay. There's a lot. Ruby Ray now, and then he should, uh, he should kill over. Fuck, he's doing improved alacrity first. Fuck! Fallen planets are on Edwin. Time to run, boys. No shame in this whatso fucking ever. I'm completely shameless. Fuck that spell and fuck everything about it. Whew! Alright, so far so good, boys. We are in great shape right now. Fucking broken ass spells, dude. Nalia, you are aware Edwin, I was not pampered, cajoled, or spoiled. Let's see, I might actually be able to improve taste everybody with a project image. Load and try to fight again? Yeah, no, dude. We're good. This is going exactly as we want to, right here. I'm trying to think if there's some way we could possibly have actually made that go quicker. Maybe if we just let Nalia do a sequencer, Edwin immediately goes in with the Ruby Ray and then I immediately breach, but I don't know if that would actually strip everything. It might. If Spell Thrust goes first, then Secret Word should go off. Or if we did a double Spell Thrust, Secret Word, and then a Ruby Ray. Maybe that would have been enough. Then again, the secret word would get blocked by the spell trap, so it wouldn't actually do anything. 
I don't know if that actually works like that. If Spell Trap actually absorbs Ruby uh, Ray or not. Or uh, Secret Word or not. Until you can cast it, right? What do you mean? Better part of Valor, boys. You hear me? Better part of Valor. Ruby to go first into you. Oh, no. Um, immunity Abjuration is a misnomer. Every single Abjuration spell still hits it. Immunity Abjuration um, is only for Dispel Magic. Uh, pretty much every other Abjuration spell... Let me go and pull up Edwin here. Uh, will actually break Spell Immunity. Spell Immunity, this does go through. Secret Word will break a Spell Immunity. Because otherwise, if you put up Immunity Abjuration, you're impossible to touch, right? Because every single spell in the game that removes spell protection is an Abjuration spell. So it's kind of a misnomer in that sense. Ruby Ray has to go last because that's the only thing that can break a spell trap. Our hope is that Spell Thrust and the others will move the low-level shit. Oh, yeah, no, nah, even then, I don't take Fallen Planetar first. I don't find... It's... An amazing tank, right? It does a lot of damage. Super useful, don't get me wrong, but... Ruby Ray is Alteration. There's a couple spells that are Abjuration, Alteration. Oh, you're right. This is pure Alteration. I thought Ruby Ray was the combo one. Hmm. If I could spell trigger triple Ruby Ray, that would uh, that'd be the dream right there. Right, I think we're good. This isn't as wonderful as I thought it would be. Traveling with you. Yeah, triple Ruby Ray would actually be uh, pretty dynamite there. Ruby Ray does hit spell trap too. Huh. Hard to say for sure. Readier than a red cheeked maiden, my friend. A complete miss. A complete miss. Dude, he's not even moving. How the fuck do you miss a target that's not moving? You know what I'm saying, dude? It's like. Yeah, she should have this. Alright, I'm gonna go and throw up protection for magical weapons just in case the other motherfucker is still on the other side waiting for us. Yeah, get shit on, idiot. What do we get up? Okay. What should I fetch now? I'm ready for anything. You sound like Goladon. Yeah, we did it. Woo! We sure showed that motherfucker who's boss. Oh, hold on. I gotta look up Alter, Alter Ray. I'm pretty sure Ruby Ray is the, the combo one. Let me go check the wiki here. Of course, the wiki is not infallible, but there are certain abjuration spells that are combo alteration and actually count as both, and I thought Ruby Ray was that one. Now that you're right, this is pure alteration. Which the f what the fuck is the combo one that I was thinking? Is it pure shield? No way it's pure shield. Pierce magic. Pierce magic's pure. Pure shield's pure. Maybe it's spell strike. Well, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. I don't know. By the way, you're right, chat. Chat is always right, dude. The fuck am I thinking? Second guessing my chat, dude? The geniuses in my chat? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous, dude. Who would be foolish enough to second guess? 
What's up, Ranger Zufal? How's it going, my dude? <clears throat> yes, Alfred, if you wish. There, we got one bullshit mage down. Still have one more to go, though. Geniuses, obviously. Now, let's be real here. Warding whip? Warding whip might be it. <clears throat> I thought I had learned a warding whip, though. I don't see it anywhere. Maybe I gave it to her? No. I could have sworn we had picked up... No, of course we couldn't have gotten a word and whip early. Never mind. I don't know. I'm just crazy, I guess, boys. Chop that spore colony up, boys. You enjoy some fucking mushrooms, man. Mushroom pizza, lads. Let's get it. Spell, spell strike is alteration abjuration? Okay. I know it's one of them, dude. I just couldn't remember what it was. Warding Whip is pure abjuration? That's what I thought, too. I didn't think it was Spell Strike, though, but I'm fucking curious now. Give me two seconds. Just save it in case we crash while I'm all tabbed here. Okay, let's check out Spell Strike. I'm pretty sure Spell Strike is the pure one, but... I'll take a look. Oh, you're right! Spell Strike, Abjuration, Alteration. Let's check out Warding Whip. Also pure ab Abjuration, so Spell Strike is the Double Dipper. And, uh, and it's just the other one. Hmm. It's interesting. The problem is Ruby Ray only hits one spell, right? Well, shit like Spell Thrust will actually take them all down. All, all spell protections, Ruby Ray will pick one. But to be fair, it does hit the highest one. So this would work on Spell Trap, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So if we Ruby Ray first, Spell Trap gets taken down because Ruby Ray automatically goes for the highest level one. And then after that, a Spell Turning would be level 7. And then Spell Deflection is level 6. So if we can take out those two with Secret Words, with a Sequencer, and then I finish it off with a Breach, that should actually drop them butt naked. Because this will hit all of them. Because they never have more than three after Spell Trap. It's always Spell Deflection, Spell Turning, Spell Shield, on uh, Spell Immunity. Okay. And this does this actually not work on Spell Immunity? Oh, it is. There it is. Yeah. So it does work. But if they have Spell ter Deflection and Spell Turning and Spell Shield and Spell Trap, then we'd need one more fucking cast of a spell of some sort to take it down. We need a Pierce Magic or some shit. And then, that would guarantee drop them. That would drop them guaranteed, so... I'm actually gonna go and do that here. Let's actually go and do that. And if this goes perfectly, it might actually be possible for us to just blow up Told Urias right away. Which would be extremely useful. Oh, she doesn't have fucking her stupid shit up anymore. Son of a bitch. There again, get me again. Spell shield is the first to go automatically. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Spell shield will block one, period, no matter what. So we'd have to do at least two ruby rays. Otherwise, the spell trap will eat anything going for spell shield. Actually, I'm not sure if that's true. If you spell, if you spell a uh, secret word, someone who has spell trap and spell shield. Does the secret word get absorbed by the spell trap, or does the spell shield actually get hit first and taken off? Not sure. I'm actually not sure. Hmm. Spell trap only absorbs 30 levels. So. A sequencer of secret words would take off 12 spell levels. If I had two sequencers, that would take off 24. And then a pierce magic would be 30, which means we can actually blow up the spell trap with multiple sequencers. But even then, yeah, I don't know. Hard to say, really. It's actually kind of hard to say. You must gather your 
party before venturing forth. And all her scary summons? Uh, she's absolutely of no consequence. The only summon I'm worried about is the one that's a fallen planetar, which is done by Tolgerias himself. Maybe he's very nice about that. Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. I should have uh, dropped the project image here. Oh well. What do you mean your spell is lost? You didn't cast anything, you idiot. Just want to make sure this is up on everybody so you don't die to a horrid wilting right at the start of the fight, which is absolutely delicious. Still don't get how he's missing targets that can't actually run away, but whatever, hair to lose. Whatever, dude. Dude, come on. At least you can do it, buddy. He's butt naked, man. Just get him. Oh, you know what we could do? Shit. I didn't even think about this. Using a project image and then hitting it with a vampiric touch to get all our guys some extra HP. We need to do that next time. Alright, so what do we want up next? Our blurs, then we'll do another project image for improved taste, I think. And I think that's good. And then we'll be good to go. Most important thing is that I get improved tasted along with Hair to Lose, since we are going to be the people who are taking all the fucking damage. I'm nervous, boys. I'm fucking nervous. So wish me luck, lads. Wish me luck, boys. Than a red maiden, my friend. Maybe I can hit him with Pandemonium right off the bat. That could work. Yes, we're putting up Remove Fear, boys. We remembered. Okay, boys, let's do it up. Alright boys, wish me luck. We're saving just in case we get a crash. Let's get Melf some minute meteors up on everybody. Alright, let's go do it up, boys. Wait, he's not even casting anything right now. Well, if you're gonna waste time doing that shit, I'm gonna go kill your mage. Dickhole. Wait, is he just gonna fall over and die? Shit like that, it almost makes me want to reload and do it again. That was so depressing. Holy fuck. But at the same time, it's like... I really, I'm really, I'm really happy we've gotten this far without losing anybody in the Dream Team, so... I kinda don't want to restart, so... Huh. We, everyone here should actually be immune to fire, so... Yes. 
I think we want to go and take out the greater fire first here. And if this idiot goes down, then we should... Almost nothing else here should actually be straight up immune to fire. I'm still confused why some people are in melee though. Aside from here to least, obviously. Oh, we got this at Jackass over here. Yeah, I'm boys. Huh. I guess we'll just take it, boys. Let's take it and call it a day. It, it, that is definitely a gift, for sure. Arguably, these two are the biggest cock blocks early on in the run. Um, along with the Shade Lord, just because there's really no good way to take them down and guarantee that you'll not die. So, I'm pretty okay with it. You have to use your Dragon's Breath in the Ice Room? Well, I definitely will, dude. I definitely will, my friend. Um, Unseeing Eye still has plenty of nasty shit because Beholders are just broken, period. We've actually almost lost runs there. I think last time, uh, we managed to not kill the Death Tyrant. Even after using the uh, the rod, the magical rod we get from the quest, and he almost turned around and wiped our whole fucking party. He almost permanently killed everybody. It was uh, it was brutal, actually. I do not care much for it was quite brutal, but we lived. Paralyse gets a level two and five. Those are great levels. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Another mirror image is definitely needed. Uh, really could use. Hmm. I would like to have a breach on him, but I'm still immunity might be more important. After all, he is our main tank. Let's see what we got in here. Mass and Viz next time we do the same? Yeah, I mean, we're definitely not going to do that. Or next time, we're going to make sure he gets, uh... At the very least, he gets his SCS spells off. Like, holy fuck. That was, uh... That was pretty easy. I like measuring fights in warden levels. This is 180% warden fight experience-wise. Hell yeah, dude. We got a ton more XP. See you know, how this pisses me off? Killing the confused Afridi right here gave us more XP than killing the Warden. Warden should give like 50k with all the bullshit he casts. I'm not even joking. Like straight up, that dude should give a lot of XP. Let's do some inventory management here for a second, boys. Get hyped. Get fucking hyped, lads, because it's coming in hot. Yeah. I didn't want to learn that spell anyways. Yeah, look at us fucking managing our inventories, boys. We're gonna just start dropping ammunition until we get the, uh, sonnet, the thing from, uh, what's the place? Watcher's Keep. There's really no reason for us to carry around all this shit. We're not gonna use it, and, uh, it doesn't sell for jack shit. Some of the ammo does sell well. That one does, but, uh, the rest doesn't. Is this a throwing dagger? No. Almost, you have lost runs there? Yeah. No, I don't think we lost any runs in the Unseeing Eye. But I think we came very close. Or we might have. No. We lost runs in the Beholder's Lair in the Underdark, but not the Unseeing Eye. Or did we? I'm pretty sure it was the Beholder's Lair, not the Unseeing Eye. But obviously, I might be mistaken, so... It happens. It's happened before, boys, and by God, it'll probably happen again. Bitch, where are you going? Have you nothing else to do but bother me? Fucking hair least is a mind of his own, lads. Alright, I think we're good with our management here for the moment. Yeah, it'll be fine. Alright, let's go and uh, take the next room. Yes. Alright, we're gonna do it, boys. Ready I a fair gambit. What do you want? Oh, stop it. Gotta get in there, Delise. Hey, Delise is gonna die, isn't he, Ruiz? <laughs> I said, hey, Delise is gonna die. And then Nolly goes, yes! Woo! For the needy! Easy shit, boys. Easiest game of my life. Let your XP for the warden be okay? At least 22k? Yeah, for sure, dude. I 
I mean, I've edited in the past where King X gives like 100k because I feel like it should be that much. Oh, fuck. Is my uh, thing not up? Shit. Let me fix that. My bad, boys. Yeah, the chatbot hasn't connected. I'm sorry. I usually do that first, and so... If I if I start up various programs out of order, I miss something. My bad. I'm starting the uh, chat uh, the chatbot right now, so it just be a second for it to load up. It usually takes a full minute for it to actually to uh, start and connect. This down just a little bit so you can enjoy uh, more of my beard here. There we go. That's better. The whole point of watching the stream is for the beard, right, boys? All right, connecting the chatbot. I did Dragon's Breath. I used it. I used it right away. There we go. Yeah, but that was that was that was. I'm pretty sure that was the um, Boulder Lair in the Underdark. Because I had Keldorn with me. Oh wait, is it not working? Is it a dead link now? No, there it is. Yeah, because we have Keldorn in the party, right? And he's using a two-hander. I don't know, maybe you're right. Maybe this is the Unseen Eye. Wish I could see what level we were. That was some bullshit, too. That was some fucking bullshit. Yeah, I can't see what level we were. I might be able to actually find the uh, save on my computer. I can look at it later. You might be right, man. That might have been the Unseen Eye, dude. They they look fucking identical, right? So you can't even tell the difference. But considering there is an actual beholder there at that spot, I'm inclined to think that it was the Underdark, not the Unseeing Eye. But then again, did Ma Baja Blast get to the Underdark? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, did I use the Dragon's Breath? It's on. It's not even here anymore, man. It lagged. I missed it. Oh, it's too bad, dude. I mean, it wasn't that amazing, let's be honest. Can I even see how much damage it did? No, I can't. It didn't do much, dude. You didn't miss much, my friend. Unfortunately. Alright, Gift of Peace is actually pretty good. It's... I don't know if the saving throw is better. I feel like it is. Getting an extra save is better than 5% damage reduction. I think it is. It doesn't look nearly as cool, though. That's for sure. The Keldorn Warden epic fight run? Oh, yeah. So that almost... Well, that might have been... Yes. It's hard to say, man. I honestly... I honestly don't fucking know, dude. I really don't. <laughs> It's really hard to say. Was that the kite? I thought the kite was with Deveorn. I don't know, maybe you're right, man. I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping track of our runs, to be honest. I really am. It's demon time, boys. I hope you guys are ready. Most important thing is that we have a paralyzation protection on somebody. The demon will take piercing damage from Melf's minute meteors, but he won't take the fire damage, almost certainly. So that's something we gotta keep in mind here. I'm gonna save in case we get a crash anytime soon, since there's no auto save here. Oh, what the fuck? This isn't the demon. We gotta go outside, we went the wrong way. Alright, well. Well, I guess we can go and kill some golems while we're here. Those are always tasty XP. Yeah, let's go kill a few golems while we're here. These things are great XP. How far to the next level? I'm pretty close. We should, uh... I should be very close to dinging after we complete the planar sphere. I might actually ding before then. Unlikely. But it's possible. Um, Ari and Yan are about 100k away. 
Same with Nalia, so... Almost my whole party is about 100k away, with the exception of Edwin and Herdalise who just dinged. Let's try to kite this idiot over here. All I see is a clay golem. There should be like a million golems here. And she just coming in hot. Oh! Oh! They're, they're hitting us from both sides! Probably gonna have to bail. Is it injured? Yeah, we do. Uh, since we all got fucking slowed here, I think it's best we just bail. Oh, for fuck's sake, that was annoying as hell. You need a can of Mountain Dew for that run as a portion. That's a genius idea. Well, fuck me, that was so annoying. I knew there was other golems up there, but why didn't they spawn until I pulled the clay golem, man? It's fucking bastards, dude. Little fucking bastards. Alright, let's go kill some demons. We'll do the fucking golems afterwards. Fuck, no, I want to do the golems now, man. They're worth so much XP. Fuck. Yes. Damn, that pissed me off. Now I agree? Hell yeah, dude. They're fucking... They're getting smarter, boys. They know how to... They know how to bamboozle me. They know how to trick me. They're getting smarter. Uh, let's try this again. You must gather your party Bitch, I'll gather whatever the fuck I want. You hear me? Alright, here they go. It's coming in hot. Oh, they can't see me. Okay. Here, yeah, now they're coming in hot. Fear Edwin. Edwin of Deseron and his nether scroll. Why is she not attacking? Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck? How many golems are there? Yeah, I'm getting a little confused now, I'll be honest, dude. Attack me, fools! In my father's name! Fly, you fools! Holy shit! Yeah. It's all good though. Between Miramage and fucking improved invisibility and all that shit, it's like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Cause this doesn't include Miram. This doesn't include improved invisibility or or the blur. So actually, I think that did include blur, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If we get spirit armor to him, it would have put him at negative eight. Yeah. But we're still all good. We're still good, boys. Wow, we actually ran out of minute meteors, but. That was totally worth it, man. That was some juicy XP. Yeah, that gave us like uh, 70,000 XP right there. Totally worth it, boys. Alright, let's go fuck up some demons, lads. Let's go fuck some demons. Here's remove curse. There it is. Yeah, crushing damage is unfortunate. Definitely the hardest to mitigate. Yeah, 
Definitely the hardest to mitigate. Go bother oh. someone else. Uh. And busy. Okay. Where's the exit? Here we go. Alright, let's make our way out, boys. Let's make our way out. Man, I cannot wait to get improved alacrity on my fucking sorcerer, man, so I can just insta-cast everything real quick. That'll make this shit so much smoother. Holy fucking moly. Or at the very least, get everyone an improved taste so they can just cast it on themselves. Uh, Nolly has a Mordenkainen's. We're gonna be probably using that for the fight. I think she still has Sequencer memorized, but yeah. Uh, the other thing that would work out pretty well is a multiple lightning bolt or an acid arrow. That could also do uh, some good. I'm pretty sure the uh, demon will just do a death spell, and so Mordenkainen's isn't really going to help us that much. Um, because obviously it will disappear instantly yes. for the death spell. But I mean, we'll try using some animate dead and see if uh, we can like maneuver them around a little bit to where a few go up front and a few stay in back. So when he does do a death spell, then we can move them in. I guess we could do that with a sword too, but... Animate Dead lasts basically forever. This spell has a fucking 8 hour duration. It's it's kind of retarded, really. What? Considering Mordenkainen's last for one round per level. Although, to be fair, swords are immune to magic. Even more so than fucking skeletons are, so... Yeah, I guess it is what it is, really. How's this does cool? look badass. I wish I could fucking, like, take the sphere with me and just, you know, like, fuck shit up. Low resistance case limited wish and vulnerability through skull traps. Unfortunately, we don't have a, uh, we don't have limited wish. I mean, Nalia has it, but fucking Nalia using limited wish, it's not gonna do much for us. It looks like everything else is dying pretty quickly to uh, Melfs here. But I'm gonna go and get protection from magic, uh, magical energy on everybody. And that means, uh, we can use skull traps and shit like that, but... I think the goal here is to actually kill the adds first, and then, or... You kill the adds first, and then focus the demon last, or just ignore everything and blow up the demon. Both are totally viable, I think. Uh, triple cloud kill could work here, too. Potions of insight are not that expensive? Yeah, we could do that. We could do that for sure. Definitely right, we could do that. Definitely remove paralysis. We have it on area, I'm gonna keep her in the back line and hopefully that uh hopefully she doesn't get fucking uh stunned otherwise uh this is gonna hell real quick. Erdelise also has pandemonium, which is a really good fucking uh item here. And also we'll have blur and saving throws really, really high. It should be fairly unlikely that we actually get hit with that shit, to be honest. Improved fear is definitely important, though. Okay. This sparrow is ready to Am I needed? At your command, of course. Yon Jonsson, at your service. What can I do? I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. Okay. If you wish. wish us luck, boys. Yes. What? I, my oh, he's invisible, so I can't improve yes. taste. No. Anyone actually have improved taste besides me? Magic, magic, magic. Alright, whatever game. What's up, Darky? How's it going, my dude? This is a lot more exciting than any well, he had a command area and see what happens here. I'm a little nervous, boys. Okay, let's see what happens, boys. If you wish. Huh? Ah! Fate beckons us all. Readier than a red cheeked maiden. My God! It okay, looks like that took him most. Oh, he's actually running. Fuck, that's annoying. Yes. I will do nothing but die. Yes, yes. 
Edwin do this. Edwin do that. Just a banana. Get him, boys. You need something? You sound like golden. Get him, he's almost dead. I'll hurt you if I have to. I'm ready for anything. Yes. Yes. What? Oh shit, Ares in trouble. Alright, he's dead. We got him, boys. Yeah, that would have been a lot easier if we had a fighter to just run in with Berserk King and fucking right-click the guy down. But, uh, we pulled it off. We're good. You have four in your party? Technically, we have six Arcane Spellcasters in our party right now. But, yeah, I do love my mages. Do you play Roll Top Player before you give the adaptations? I actually really enjoyed playing D&D. &D. I only played it twice. And I was literally... I was literally kicked out of the party... This was like years ago, back when I was a teenager. I was kicked out of the party because everyone thought that I was so power hungry that I would sell them for basically anything that would make my character stronger. And so they kind of kicked me from the group and the game was over for me. And I was really butthurt about it for like a week. And then I just thought about it for like two seconds and realized they were absolutely right because I would have done that in a heartbeat. I would have sold them out in the first fucking chance I got to make myself stronger. Someone offered me a scroll to turn me into a lich. I would have sold them out. I would have sold their family out, their friends out. I would have sold my own family and friends out. So, I mean, they're right. They're a good, better judge of character. So, at the end of the day, you know, I enjoyed it, but it didn't last very long. I think the thing that annoys me about a uh, tabletop, which I've heard that I've never actually experienced, is that pretty much universally everyone plays good, and I'm an I'm. At the very least, chaotic neutral. I'm not a good person whatsoever. That's boring to me. Absolutely fucking boring to me. Thought I'd pop on to watch you for a bit? You sure do love your mages? Yeah, I love my mages, dude. Almost lost her. No, I almost still had it. Aries not going anywhere. In backseat, play D&D &D for the narrative and cooperative storytelling? Fair enough, dude. I, I, like, I, I like everything about it. Everything about it sounds fantastic, right? But again, the problem... Did I not pick up the fucking Demon Heart? No, I got it. We're good. We're good. But the problem is, um... I don't know. It's just it almost... You're, I've heard that, like... And I, and I totally understand why people say this. Is people don't play evil parties because at some point, somebody... The party turns on itself at some point. Because that's just the way evil people are, you know? Takes the right group for sure, yeah. Almost universal. If you role play, then evil doesn't work in tabletop. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's that's what I've heard, and uh, you must gather your party. I mean, and I I think I think there's ways to rationalize that. At the very least, like if you can't be evil, sure. Let's not go with a full evil party, but can we at least be neutral? I mean, I've heard like people will say like you have to play good. You can't even play fucking neutral. Like if you're not good, you're not playing. And I don't like that. I don't like being a fucking slave, dude. I absolutely loathe the idea of being a slave to fucking rules and laws. Cha chaotic neutral is so freeing. I'm not saying I'm just gonna murder somebody who I don't like in two seconds. I'm just saying that you shouldn't be allowed to be uh, taken advantage of the entire game just because you're a fucking paladin. And that's the shit that pisses me off. I don't like being taken advantage of. That drives me crazy. Absolutely crazy. And so, if I don't have the opportunity to exact vengeance on the people taking advantage of me, which I can't because I'm a paladin, because you can't just murder people, right? Unless they're evil, in which case you're required to murder them. But, like, not everybody's evil that will take advantage of you. And so it pisses me off when that happens, and I'd rather just be like, look, you know, you tried to use me for this, now pay me, and if you don't, I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take my toll in blood or gold, your choice.
You know what I mean? What do you want? Do you, I, I've, I've heard people doing that and then everyone just being like, forget it, we're not playing with you. But again, I'm, this is purely anecdotal shit, so... Playing Evil came in, you should establish, hey guys, let's play an Evil game, and you use some premise to prevent the group from joining on itself in the universe. Souls being bound. Yeah, something like that, right? Or just, like, you look at fucking, like, uh, Monty and Zara, right? And BG1. They both are evil, and they both absolutely cannot stand each other, right? They can't stand each other. But because the Zents are so much stronger than the two of them by themselves, they're forced to cooperate, even if they don't like it. And so, like, there's so many ways you could roleplay that, but... I never hear of anyone going for it, and even then, I mean, I don't know. I, I was never really big into that shit anyways. Like, I thought it would be fun and cool, but it never worked for me. No, no ki- yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. I'm- thy will be done. Will I am most grateful. There's so many different ways you could do that, but... Yeah, what the fuck do I know, dude? I played D&D for about an hour before I get kicked from the party. Rest in peace, my dude. I have been looking at the scars on my back. The stumps that were that were once my wings. They do not they do not make me. Where's the open Mars, dude? Where's the open Mars for airy heart? That's what I'm saying. Like it doesn't do group nice, dude. Your Monty and Zara inherently on a time load with each other. Yeah. You came into my experience work better as one of ten session games rather than the monster year long marathon. Jesus, dude. I don't even know people played this for a year for the same fucking campaign. Although to be fair, the amount of investment it would take would uh I guess that kinda of makes sense, right? I think we're gonna go and give this to Hair Delise, because he's the one who's using a mirror image more than anybody else. Wait, what? Bards can't use Ring of Acuity? Really? Well that's fucking news to me. Really? Why? What the fuck? Well, I don't want to hold on to it until he gets used any item. That'd take fucking forever. I mean, Edwin doesn't need any level 2, 3, or 4s. Those are worthless for him. Getting an extra Melsa Minute Meteors? I guess giving it to Nolly, but then she loses out on her fire resistance. Hmm. I think Nolly would probably wear it best, but fuck, dude. Well, this puts Edwin uh, really close to the fire resist cap, though. Sticking a bag of holding cup back later? Yeah, maybe. Give it to Yan, then. Uh, what does Yan have for 2, 3, and 4? Yan is actually kind of behind on 2, 3, and 4s, I suppose. Nah, he's got plenty. I think Nalia needs it the most, because she actually is using the wizard eye spell. Yeah, I think we'll give it to Nalia here. And this also will allow her to uh, back up tank, too. Yeah, she needed she needed the four spell more than anybody for sure. Because she's the only one who doesn't have improved in biz right now. Yeah, definitely not you. And this does allow her, of course, to get more level three spells. I really want to get a vampiric touch on everybody. I think we'll drop remove magic, because we never fucking use that. Oh, we can't use vampiric touch, of course. Duh. He's got it. Really want him to have this. And she's going to use that for a sequencer, so that's fine. And then obviously I have it as a base ability. Okay. Edwin doesn't have rings anyway. Why have Empiric Touch? I thought it was acid. Empiric Touch is actually one of the best abilities in the game. Let's take a look. See, I'm at 102 HP right now. Who can survive? Or at least will live. Oh, he's got fucking protection for magical energy up. Here, one sec. Yeah, let's try this again. Now I have 150 HP. I just gained 50 hit points. And I press one button on Airy, and he's back to full HP. If I wanted to, I can drop a project image. And then have everybody here cast it on the project image. Fate beckons us all. I know I can be of great use to you. 
Now, he's resisting a buttload of damage, which is unfortunate. So I think I actually have to take the robe off next time. Yeah, I gotta take off the gear that gives him magic resistance. But either way, if you use it on something else, I mean, just in general, it just... It gives you so much HP. It's really good for a pre-buff, for sure. Keep a rogue stone, star staff, and gem, and reserve of the bar, close, and watch your keeps. Oh, yeah, we'll be good. But I appreciate you telling me, my friend. Yeah, I think my dude, because he has MR right now, it's actually going to make it harder for them to actually... Yeah. So... M using project image on my guy may not be the best idea. We'll try maybe use it on Nalia next. Yes. Use it on Nalia instead, and that'll work out well for us. But, yeah, using it as a pre-buff, it's actually pretty strong, man. It really is. What do you want to use here? Give her a flail, why not? Alright, level 6. What do we got? Wondrous Recall to get more chaotic commands. Uh, Bolt of Glory is actually decent for demons. Arrow the Servant's pretty good. Arm is worthless because she can't hit shit. False Dawn's pretty good too. Might just go for a double heal though. Physical Mirror we don't need. Soul Searing Orb is actually pretty good too. we just go double heal though. Rod of Resurrection, he's a living member person, whatever the HP. We talked about a couple days in our good memory. Really? The way in mine and the way mine works here is it has heal and raise dead. And you can change it between heal and raise dead. It doesn't automatically do both, but I haven't tried. Yeah, I'll claim my sphere. Have you nothing else to do but Simple. This isn't right. You are well. We're supposed to be better than this. If you wish. Get out of here, idiots. Yeah, I'm not leaving without claiming my sphere. Don't sweat it, my man. I had thought you would be. I am here as a contact and a master, and I will thank you for keeping your tone civil. I am Teos, and I have been assigned to offer you a special favor. Those are gold. Gold's good. Shit, we're actually about to get a spell hold. Let's go and get a uh, let's get our apprentices started on my my ring though, boys. Yes. Hell yeah. Speak then. Good day to you. The Dagger of Lee Marvin, boys. Let's go. I'm almost tempted to let them all live just so I can have an apprentice that will stay with me and fucking make potions for me, but I really want that ring, so that's what we're gonna do. Wow, really? He's still fucking making it? It's a dagger, guys. It takes a blacksmith like five minutes to make. Might as well be a fucking letter opener, dude. Does look cool though, right? Not usable by cleric or beast master. I didn't know they weren't able to use daggers. Wow. Being a beast master in 2018, pink. How long does it take to guys to make this shit? Wow. Yeah, that's how you properly instruct him, dude. Staff of power. Okay, boys. Say goodbye to our apprentices. They didn't last too long. <laughs> Graduating at the head of your class, buddy. I'm proud of you, man. Hell yeah. Hopefully fucking... <sighs> this is also no bards, dude. Really? What the fuck? Why would they do this? I would have bet my life I had Hair Delise rocking these rings in the past, man. Am I crazy, dude? Am I just crazy?
I know I gave them to Nalia at some point because she was my main tank, but like, what the fuck? And I can't double dip it either. Can't have two rings of wizardry. Another ring for Edwin, I guess. Fuck, man. Brutal, boys. All I can say. Let's go clean this shit out and go sell some of this crap. Yes. Looks like you still have everyone? Hell yeah, dude. We ain't losing a damn person this run, man. This is the dream team. The dream run where just everything goes flawless. <laughs> The only thing we really fucking need right now is some more level 5 spells so we can chaotic commands everybody. That's honestly what we really need. Because right now we can just hit myself and Herodolese, which are by far the most important. Yeah, knock on wood. And, uh... Which is perfect, because those are the only two that can really fucking kill other people. Because they can actually... Well, we don't want me to get confused, because then I might die. Anyone else can get confused, not a big deal. And Herodolese, we don't want him confused so he doesn't chop up a party member. Secretly uneasy? Nah, buddy. We didn't touch this shit. Insane is always gonna be insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. If you wish. Now to go sell some goods, boys, and then uh Maybe go check out the promenade one last time. We'll take a look at the world map, see if there's anything we missed or that we want to do before we head off to Spellhold, boys. 15k XP for my guy before I ding. He's at 25. He's at 40. And our little gnome's at about 30. Yeah, yeah. There's gotta be at least one. Oh, fuck. We haven't done the Unseeing Eye. Okay, we still gotta go do that. Fuck, man. I hate the Unseeing Eye. I'm almost tempted to wait for level 9 spells. Do that shit after the Underdark. That awkward moment when you'd rather go to the Underdark than fucking fuck with Beholders in the Unseeing Eye. It's embarrassing. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a little bitch or if it's because the unseeing eye is really that fucking strong. Yeah, let's go to the graveyard, then we'll go back to the slums. I think we robbed Bernard blind already, but we'll double check to be sure. Hope you guys are doing well, my friends, enjoying yourselves, enjoying this beautiful day. God bless you for watching, guys. God bless every one of you. You know I want nothing but the best for you in life, my friends. Yes. I wonder if there's some easy way. Could we project image? Nah, that would never work. For one, she's not going to have project image forever. I was thinking if we could somehow give a project image the shield of Baldoran, could the project image walk around and reflect the rays of the beholder? But the only person who can use this shit is Aerie. So, and she's not going to have project image for a hot minute. What? Could have done le even Legacy of Ball. Legacy of Ball isn't harder, it's just boring and time consuming because everything has a million HP. I was almost considering doing a run of Legacy of Ball, but then I remembered just how awful it was when I tried it. You just, all you do is have one person stand still or just move around in a circle so they don't get hit. Everyone else just arches and that's it. That's all you do because you can't take any fight. You literally can't take any fight normally because their Thacko is so high and they do double damage. So you can't charge in and fight them normally. Spells do the exact same damage, so they're completely unimportant. Yes, it's just... It's just it's poorly designed, man. It's honestly, it's just poorly fucking designed. If you want to make a hard fucking version, right? Actually, fuck. Let me bust these out and pass out some rings instead. Hold on a second. Who's wearing an amulet? Of okay, let's swap these out here. And then we'll give her an amulet of life protection instead. That's better. Anyone else using an amulet? Okay. 
I think she can. Oh, she can't wear one because of the, the cloak here protection. Okay. So she can actually take this at least. And the ring of mirror image is pretty fucking worthless, really. Actually, that might actually be useful for fucking Harold Lee's, because he only well, he's got three now, so he'll he'll be okay. Never mind. We're good. Two times HP plus 80 is deforming a sleep with a cobalt normally has four HP is 92. Yeah, it's just it's a complete waste of time. It's just a complete fucking waste of time. Even for a full party, it's just Yeah, it's just stupid, man. Just straight up. No fun to be gained, dude. Like, straight up. No fun to be had. Yeah, then we'll go and empty the potion case, then I think we're ready to go. That's a lot of potions of freedom, actually. We'll just sell half of those. There's that insight potion we were thinking about earlier for a wish spell. All right, let's go double check to make sure he doesn't have anything we want, and he doesn't. Yeah, we stole pretty much everything here, so we're good. Sick collection of human flesh, my friend. Right? If you, you imagine poking around the bag of holding, looking for that magical trinket, you can grab something moist and squishy. That's fucking awful, dude. You just accidentally bump into Monteron's dead body. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the fucking uh, ransom thing, but I think it bugged out again for us, dudes. I'm a little annoyed about that, actually. I really wanted to get the uh, the silver panties, man. Looks like we're not going to get it again. Unfortunate, I suppose, but... What can one do, boys? What can one do? Alright, so Umar is good. Temple's dead. Heretic Temple can fuck off. The Arnest is good. Banded Amphitheater, we finished. Trade Meat's done, I believe. Yeah. Grid Grow's good. And the Wind Spear, we didn't do Strom either. We can, I don't remember if we get flat XP for Strom's quest. We might. It might be a good place to go. Yes. Okay. Slowly decaying corpse. The halfling family that built up a camp, dude. It's brutal, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do Strom's quest, then we'll do the Unseeing Eye, and then we'll finally head off to Spellhold, boys, and give Irenicus the dicking he so rightly deserves. And we're gonna do it without anybody getting permanently killed. Hope. I actually really can't make that promise. We might skip the Unseen Eye. As awful as that sounds, we might have to skip the Eye. Either that or we kick somebody else and get Corgan or somebody else in the party. That can rock the, uh... Wait, are we getting jumped by... Oh no, those guys are coming. We gotta put the werewolves up top. Um, yeah, we might end up skipping the Unseen Eye just because the Beholders are so nasty. I see while we're just walking around finding out what to do this. Go for it, man. Yeah, feel free to ask anything. To ask whatever you guys want, dude. Like, literally ask anything you want in chat. I welcome you to chat, dude. And I, tr I try to read every single thing that everyone ever writes. I do my best. Sometimes I'll miss something. Or Kambarov especially ribs me for that. But I do my best to read everything you guys type. How the fuck do you deal with planetars? Yeah, they're by far the most obnoxious thing in the game. Uh, early on, if you have a fighter... With um, high attacks per round, like Corgan, um, if you give them improved haste, they'll put them close to the cap. Decent weapons. Have them go in, and if you're really lucky, they'll be able to take the planetar down pretty easily. Um, if you're using a berserker, like your main character is a berserker or a fighter, using Flail the Ages works very well, too. Because the Flail will actually slow them. That They almost get slowed by it every time. And when they're slowed, and then you're hitting them really quickly, if you're really quick, if you're running multiple fighters especially, you can kill a fallen planetar. They actually die pretty fast. The problem is, when you're running a party like this and you don't have fighters, that's where you really run into trouble. 
At high levels, the easiest way to deal with a Planetar is protection from magical weapons, and then you hit them with a um, imprisonment spell. That is by far the easiest way to deal with them. Uh, when you don't have that, honestly, running is really your only option. You can't kill them. You really can't fucking kill them with a Mage Heavy Party. Yeah, you, uh, you can't actually sequence or lower resistance, unfortunately. You need Spell Trigger for it, and Spell Trigger is a scroll that doesn't drop. It's purely RNG. If you get a Spell Trigger scroll, you're in great shape. Or if you have a Sorcerer like me, as soon as I get level 8, I'm taking Spell Trigger so I can fucking hit them with uh, lower resistance. But until you get that, you can't hit them. That doesn't work. And the problem is, even if you have three mages cast lower resistance on a Planetar, it, by then it might already be too late. Because... If the Planetar will just go and attack so quickly and so fast, and with its Dispel and shit, it's just, it's really hard to deal with. It's really, really, really hard to deal with. If you can manage to hit it with lower resistance, and then you can manage to get a Doom and a Malison on it, you might be able to CC it some way. Uh, Blind. Um, Fear. Stun. I mean, there are options at that point, but usually what ends up happening is the thing goes invisible and it just starts raping your party. And there's just, there's almost no way for you to fight back legit. It's really legitimately difficult. Really tough, for sure. What, if you wish? You drop massive XP if you can kill them? Yeah, they do have good XP. Imprisonment's definitely the best way, for sure. Yeah, if you, if you can get a spell trigger... Or if you have so many mages, if the, if the planetar is focused on a tank, right? If this bitch is the planetar, and I'm Herod Elise, and she's attacking Herod Elise, if I throw on protection for magical weapons, and she keeps hitting Herod Elise, then you can take it out, no problem. The problem is, is if I throw on protection for magical weapons, she stops hitting him and goes for my backline. So either we need to get protection for magical weapons on the entire party, and then we have a chance to take it down, other will, or somebody's going to get killed. And let's say we do do that, and we focus everything on the planetar. If someone summoned a planetar, that means they're a high-level mage, so this mage is going to be casting spells on us the whole time, too. And so that's really where the problem comes in. If you get the planetar by itself, and you throw up your protection shit, and then hit it with the lower resistance, malice and doom, yada yada yada, you can probably take it out. But if the mage is there, too, you're going to be in for a bad time, for sure. It's probably easier to kite it out. Yeah, we're not doing Firecry, we're just doing the Strom's quest right now. So by having people play good characters, they're actually more like neutral characters. It's like a buffer that Demon's puts in the deal with the nature of the games. Nice. What? Yeah. There's always a mage. If there's a high if there's a planetar, there's a mage too, and so you either gotta take your whole party to deal with one or the other, and the other person's gonna be doing work. I'm gonna go and collect my thoughts real quick, boys. I'm just gonna say be right back in just a second in case we crash. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. If any of you are new here, hit that follow button. We'll be back at it in just a few minutes for some more hard-hitting Baldur's Gate 2 action. God bless, my friends. Thanks for watching. Should be back in about five minutes, hopefully.
I could sit around doing nothing back at the inn. Let's get going. time like this. Tis dreary, my raven, this time we spend here tapping toes. Inactive outward, inactive inward. Why do I suffer this fool? Get it, boys. Welcome back, my dude. Sorry about that. Sit in the apprentice. There's always two. Exactly right, man. That's how it is, dude. That's how it is. Let's see. She's at about 50 now. Edwin should be at 70. Ooh, he's only at 60. Hmm. That's right. Batista's revenge only gives 40%. It's her ring that gives 50. And the fire resistance ring you get in the other dark that gives 50. Okay, I think we'll be okay though. I do not care. As long as he gave it to himself, he should be able to fucking tank this shit, no problem. Oh, that's right, we got the ghoulies first. Be sung through the ages. Here you go, my boy. This sparrow is ready to fly. Aye, a fair gambit. Yeah. 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 Hey, we did it! Woo. Okay. So we know there's the spooky beholders right over there on the other side of that door. Yes. I we really don't want anything to do with it, to be honest. I think we'll just summon a bunch of skeletons, have them go in hot. Oh, our shit's actually wearing off because it's been so long. Whoops. Let's just do this. We get the uh, wizard eye up. So we'll check to make sure this door doesn't have anything else in it. And I'll move these guys over here. There's our eyeball. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Yes, yes. A standard tactic, that. What? Oh, I can do that. What's up, dude? Wizard Eye Death. Enervation. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does Enervation mean? I've never even seen that ability before. Hmm. Interesting. I should move him 
I don't know if Kona Cold would actually go through walls, but just in case it does. There you go. We should go into the mobile vegetable pickling. We're good, we good, boys, we good. It's just a random book, who gives a fuck? Alright, a fair game. Yes, yes. A standard tactic that Okay. I do not welcome late for oblivion. A welcome lead for oblivion uh, indeed. Yeah, it looks like these are all good. Oh, I, I swear there's some more trap shit down here, but maybe I'm just fucking crazy. Yen should be completely immune to fire too, right? Yeah. This so they're both immune to fire. To so we can throw up a uh, true sight on Yan to break these jackasses' fucking dumbass ability. Okay, should be good. Get him, Yen. Shoot him. Take him out, boys. Oh, that was rude. Well, I guess these fuckers aren't the ones that disappear. Huh. Alright, well. I'll take it. We have to have a mirror image on our boy here. Just in case. Alright, uh, well. So far, so good, I guess. Hmm. You know, I bet it's this motherfucker right here that's the one that actually goes in this. Oh, that's annoying. Did she get stunned? No, no it's not. Who's still using the staff? That's my dude. Okay. Now let's go and fucking remove the paralysis here. We're getting some kick ass loot from the side, but there's some good shit in here. I accidentally removed curse instead of remove paralysis. I'm so good at this game. Thank you. We still want to go and throw protection from fire up on pretty much everybody here because even though they have some fire protection, they don't have much. And uh, one good fireball from this dude could actually perma kill somebody. It's possible if they get really bad RNG, someone will actually die here. So, weapons armor for bad. Yeah, it's mostly fighter shit, but it's stuff that you know we still want for sure, and it gives us something. So, Yen will be able to true sight this guy down, though, so it should be okay. I don't think there's anything. Tra oh wow, that is a trapdoor. Okay then. Ah, it's this room up here. Thy will be done. Like Dristan Wolkar, Elminster and Polo. You, yes, yes. Oh shit, Yan's belt coming in handy, dude. With the minor globe. Minor globe coming in big, boys. Trying to hit me with a flame strike, son. Bitch, please, dude. You ain't got nothing on me. Where the oh, the last one's over here. Okay. Oh, that was annoying. Yeah, that was actually kind of spooky. Right, I'm gonna go pop a potion here just to make sure we're at full HP. Alright, come on, boys. Get him. Oh, dear. Get him! One more hit. Oof. That was close. Right. Oh shit, new level up for me, dude. Six and seven. What do we got over here, boys? Okay. So we got spell immunity. We got breach, we got animate dead. We want spell shield for sure. 
because that will protect our ship, but we also want lower resistance too. Now here's the kicker. We're not going to get another level 5 spell for a hot minute, I don't think. So we either take lower resistance knowing that on our next level when we take spell trigger, we can do a triple lower resistance. Or we take spell shield, which means that we'll be protected from at least one anti-magical spell. I'm inclined to take lower resistance here because we know we're going to need this for dragons. We know we're going to need this for other shit. And one more level for level 8 spells means that we get spell trigger and we can use it right away in a combo. Definitely a tough one. I think we have to go with lower resistance, boys, because we're not going to get spell trigger for Edwin anytime soon. Level 6, what do we got? Right now we have protection for magic energy, improved haste, contingency is important. And protection for magical weapons is important. I think we gotta go with protection for magical weapons. It's the only thing that will save us from a fallen planetary right now. In level seven. Okay. These are all trash. Sequencer is good. Ruby Ray is good. Mordekainen's good. I think we might go with the Mordekainen's here. Because we can uh, project image and then use our project image to summon a buttload of Mordekainen's. Which would be really useful. Next level five is at 28? Seriously? Wow. Well, we fucked up then. That's late. That's late throwing a ball. Wow, dude. I shouldn't have taken Animate Dead. I knew I shouldn't have taken Animate Dead. That was so stupid of me. I knew that was going to bite me in the ass. Fuck me. Ah. Fuck. Oh, my God. <sighs> that is a shame, boys. Wow. Fucking incredible, dude. We're never going to have Spell Shield. And that spell is so critical. That spell is absolutely critical. It's storming outside and we don't have Spell Shield. This is awful. I thought we, got, I thought we would have gotten it in our early 20s. I, I thought we would have got it in our early 20s. 28 holy fucking moly dude that's actually brutal all right all right deep breath relax we're good a warding whip is super good limited wish is super good i think mordekinus is the way to go man it's a plus four sword it's a plus four summon and with project image we can get some really good use out of that holy shit dude 370k for our next level. Fuck, 28? Yeah, if I if I had known that, I guarantee I would not have taken Animate Dead. So we, we'll keep that in mind for next time. Don't need Animate Dead. Don't fucking get it. Oh no, definitely don't want Finger of Death, Darky. 1600. Definitely don't want Finger of Death, man. Finger of Death... There's a lot of things that are immune to Finger of Death. And even if we hit somebody with a Doom and a Malison, Finger of Death still fails all the fucking time. I'm not a fan of Finger of Death, Darky. I'm not a fan at all. I'm sorry, I, I did read that, but yeah. Finger of Death was never an option for me. One or two more haste on other characters. As soon as they get the chance, they're going to have a haste for sure. Right now, protection for magical weapons takes precedent, and we want protection for magical energy. But the next one they get, they'll be an improved haste for sure. I'd like to have improved taste on my whole fucking party. I think actually everybody here has it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, everyone has it, so that'd be good. Massive new, so I use it sometimes. Hey, no, there's nothing wrong with using it, man. It's just, yeah. Regular haste for summons? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the only one with a regular haste is, uh... Actually, you might be able to get it in Edwin. Hmm. Yan was using it earlier, but, uh, yeah. Well, she's down to two muffs. Everyone else has multiple mouths. But... Can't afford to take any more spells from him, really. Oh, it just gives them an extra attack. I mean, it's and they move faster. It's definitely useful. Definitely useful, but it's not a uh, not super super incredibly useful. 
I mean, to be fair, I can project Im soon I can project image on other characters, and then we can have multiple project images using spells. So, improved taste is single target, yeah, that too. So I can have multiple project images using uh, improved taste to get everything buffed up and quickly, so. Well, well, fuck me, dude. Now we know, boys. We're our next Sorcerer playthrough. We're going to do at least one more Sork playthrough after this one, and uh, then we'll move on to a different character. So we know that for next time, boys. This Where did this ghast come from? What the hell? Yeah, oh, I, I know we needed it, it's just I didn't need to take it as a sorcerer. That was stupid. The original idea was, oh, you can project image and summon multiple animate deads, so then you can keep your spell immunities. That makes sense. Um, but, uh, I mean, I could have given Animate Dead to Edwin, who has way more level 5 spells than anybody else in the game. I could have given it to so many people, and it would have been just perfectly fine. I didn't need to take it for myself, and that was the issue there. And I did end up taking it for myself, and I shouldn't have. But, you know, it is what it is, dude. It is what it is, my friend. What? What do you want? I think everyone's good to go, right? Why the fuck do we keep walking around in weird places and aggroing random shit we don't normally want to? Yeah, I personally I would not use Aerie in SOA. I would like to use her in Throne of Ball. But um I really wanted to have a cleric in my run, so that's why we ended up picking her up. But she's great in Throne of Ball and not so hot in this one. That's right, we gotta put on the helmet. See what's killed her like. Vulnerability. Doesn't look like she actually has anything that would be useful. Yeah, I think we might have actually got her. Oh wow! Ferric Iron Blade, backstab, quadruple damage with a critical hit, one shot my project image. What a champion, dude. That's a championship. Fuck is my guy going? Yeah, you need to get get up here, dude. Like, come on, buddy. Good shit. Let's see, I missed a lot. 
Very best mage. Yeah, she's pretty good. Didn't say that. Yeah, don't say, yeah, Edwin's definitely the best mage for sure. Holy shit. All right. Uh, if we get DC boys, I'm going to do my best to get back online. Um, and we're definitely getting a lot of thunder and lightning over here. Um, if I'm not on in like half an hour, chances are my power's out for a while. It's really hard. Brownouts in Florida are you're usually pretty decent about getting back online quickly, but if we're offline for at least half an hour, then we're probably done for the day. I'll try to see if I can post something on my phone um, if our power does go out for a while. Um, but yeah, just letting you guys know. This is definitely coming out hard here. You pick and choose between all BG2 characters? Yeah, and TOB, as long as they're not permakill in BG2. And you get a whole Mazzy to fight her EE characters? Yeah, she's actually not EE, but uh, she's really good. Yeah, she's got red hair, yeah. We need a, a plus ding emote. Oh, we need a lot of emotes, dude. We need a lot of emotes. I'll find a way, boys. I don't know. I'll find a I'll find a chat bot that fucking acts like there's 75 people watching the stream, so we hit partner, and then we'll fucking we'll get all the great emotes at last, boys. At long last. Is anyone uh, encumbered? No, we're good. Yeah, we'll get emo. We'll get all the emotes, boys. We have so many fun emotes we're gonna do. And hopefully the uh, the subscriber badges should be coming literally any day now. It took them about a week to approve my emotes. Um, so the badges should be coming in fairly soon. Don't get your channel banned. I was just joking, man. We're not gonna do that. It was a joke. We're not doing that. And watch me get taken down. You have been permanently banned. Rip in peace. Yeah, we, we wouldn't do that, boys. We wouldn't do that. Alright, level 4 and 5 for Nalia. What can we take here? Hmm. Could start going for the minor sequencers to get extra level 2 spells, but she won't need those pretty much because of what she's got here. Getting an extra backup blur wouldn't be half bad, to be honest. I need her level 3 more than anything. Level 3 more than anything. We have to have a, a fun f uh, spider spawn here. Could play with that a little bit. Yeah. Secret word backup wouldn't be bad. Enchant weapon. Could anyone even use this? Not really. Could go with a fire shield, though. That will also boost her fire resistance to max. Definitely want to spell shield on everybody if we can get it. Although it's going to be a long fucking time before I do. Whoops. And for Yan, Thief Ability. I think we need to do one more and Detect Illusion to max that shit. Let's just put it at 100, dude. That way, if we take off his helmet, he can still detect shit. And then he'll dump the rest of the points in the pickpockets. we will be good. Another Greater Malison. I, I mean, we really don't need multiples, though. Because there's no save versus it. So. And to my knowledge, they don't stack in this version. Alright, now everyone's got a pretty decent while before they level. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep hitting Q all the time now, as long as it's storming this badly. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get fucking we're gonna crash at some point here, boys. It's just the way it is. Yeah, we'll see what happens, boys. We'll see. We'll see. Holy fuck! More hobgoblins. No. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? I am a. Yeah. 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 Filthy hobgoblins. Get out of here, you filthy bastards. You filthy animals. What, huh? hmm. You must gather your party before venturing forth. It is done. Gonna finish it today, BG2? Probably not. We're uh, just literally making our way to the Underdark right now. To Spellhold, I should say. Shit, I don't know. Do we want to skip the Unseeing Eye? Hmm. 
<clears throat> There's so many good things we get from that. We get the Gauntlets of Dexterity. We get the Belt of Girdle of Constitution, which would make either Herdelis or Aerie get an enormous amount of extra HP. Probably Herdelis. It's fucking... Yeah, it's just the stupid son of a bitch beholders are so hard to deal with, man. They really are. Tough to say, boys. It's tough to say. Hmm. It's over here. Yeah, it's not Oryx. Let's just get out of here. I'm done with fucking Oryx, boys. And these motherfuckers aren't gonna drop me jack shit, so let's just get out of here. Alright, I think we're gonna go and attempt the Unseeing Eye anyways, boys. We're gonna do it anyway. Hmm. Who in this party would we be willing to sacrifice? I think what I might do is do the whole thing and then leave, grab Corgan, give him the shield of Baldurin, and then have him go in. That way, if something happens to him, it's not the end of the world. Let's see, who else can use a shield? Animan can use a shield. Although Animan's our main backup player. Actually, maybe we should just go grab Viconia and have her face tank everything. That could work too. Hmm. I think we might actually do that. Pick up Vicky and have her face tank. I think we'll do that, boys. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use Viconia to fucking uh, tank with the shield of Baldurin. And while we summon a buttload of skeletons and swords to deal with the fucking beholders. And hopefully that'll work out for us. It may not. But hopefully it will. Let's see how it goes, to say the least. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's right, we have the mind players to do too. Let's go outside and rest them real quick. In the name of the council, I am Fuck off, Jared's. Or he's the only one that can do actual damage in melee. That's true, but we're never actually going to be meleeing the beholders. Our skeletons are going to be doing the bulk of the damage. In the name and also, Vaconia will actually have backup magic resistance, so even if she manages to uh, have the shield snatched out of her hands, she'll still be able to fight back. Or not fight back, but have uh, to resist some shit. Or we could just fucking wizard eye the whole damn thing. Well, we could wizard eye everything up to the end. When we finally fight the Death Tyrant, I think it, well, then again, having some extra damage would be worth it. Having Corrigan to throw his little hand axe might actually be worth it. Oh, yeah, we're not going to drop area. We'll probably drop a yen, I think. Yeah, we'll probably drop yen for that. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh? We'll do the Mind Flayers first. They give a... Pretty decent XP. Although none of us are really even remotely fucking close to leveling, so I guess it's kind of a kind of a moot point, isn't it? Yes. It should be good. We'll see what happens, though. Yes. You need Melf's up. Ooh, everyone needs Melf's up. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Let's do it up. Oh, that reminds me. Let's get chaotic commands on myself. Oh, of course, we can't target myself with fucking chaotic commands now. Because I'm invisible. I'm such a genius. What can I do? I just have to be really, really careful then. At least we'll hit it on herself so she can do remote paralysis. That should be fun. Let's spill my evaluation up too. Can I be of most use? Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. This is a lot Yon Yonson at your service. Yeah, first room is good. You know, it's BS easy. The iron. I don't know, I don't know which movie you're talking about. What's up, Peter? How's it going, my dude? Hope life is treating you well, friend. I can't carry no that shit, we're completely full right inventory wise, aren't we? I'm not accustomed to such loads. I've had to drop something. This is some quality inventory management right here, boys. I hope you're hyped. I don't know why I have all sorts of garbage that we're never going to use in here. There we go. The final boss is Bill off the dark. Oh, the uh, the black fits. Yeah, yeah, the black fits were not hard at all for sure. Weren't too tremendously difficult. Cause you can basically level forever. Why the fuck am I carrying these around? What the fuck am I doing? Like mind flayers have actually eaten my brain before I've even started fighting them. Feels bad, boys. My brain has already been eaten. Okay, that's fine. Okay. We have a lot of potions, what the fuck? Okay. Those are good. Those are not good. I don't even know why I'm picking those up anymore, to be honest. Alright, now we're good. Yes. Re I, a fair gambit. Yes, if you wish. This is a lot more exciting. We can't commands up, finally. Okay. Good. At least my swords, we should be able to kill the the thing pretty quickly. So we get back to normal. Good shit. 
Yeah, let's do it up. Let's go aggro the next pack here. That is a lot of shit. Okay. Check out them saves though, holy moly. Okay, we should be able to go and get a queen visibility on everybody. Fate beckons us all. Oh. Am I needed? You need my you skills, need I see. Yes. Yes, man. She doesn't have improving visibility? It's right there. Why what is she not I casting do? it? There you go. Yes. Okay. Stuff. You lift the rooter down, boys. I love this music so much. I say this every time, this is literally one of my favorite tracks in the game. Alright. Also, that's left this fucking uh, Alhoon. Most broken motherfucking mind player of all time. 97% of the time throwing projectiles. That's how we roll in this party, dude. Yes. That's how this party rolls. I don't remember if this dude actually is considered a high level mage. If he does get uh, HLAs or not. I'm not 100%. He actually might. We gotta be ready for that for sure. Oh, you can summon a couple more kinds too, I suppose. Even though they're gonna die to a death spell pretty much right away. This sparrow is ready to fly. Should have waited for him to give one more before I interrupted him there. But we're all good. Okay. Fate beckons us all. You're killing big. Come on, let's go. Wait, can he actually not hit him because he's invisible now? Is that how we're playing this game? What? Really? Well, that's annoying as hell. There we go. Okay, now I can move again. All right. Uh, let's see. Did we get our blurs up already? No, we didn't. Yes. What? Only if you are. What can I do? Okay. This sparrow. Can I be of most use? Of course. Pardon. Turn every place. What is it now? Yeah, yeah. This is a lot more exciting. 
Alright, yeah, let's do it up, boys. Coming at us, right? What? Hello? Yeah, I keep forgetting to do chaotic commands before mass invisibility, so I don't have it actually. Huh. My magical swords are actually getting unsummoned because these things aren't coming at us. Dude, come over here, you fuckers. Oh, well, here comes Elhun. Oh shit. You can't open the door on me like that. Who the fuck you think you are? A solid blow. What? Is there a griffin about? Oh good. Okay, no, those are just the regular mind players still. Fucking crash, son of a bitch. Yeah, the, the all black bug. That's so dumb, dude. For fuck's sake, man. Wow, we didn't save once inside. Fuck! Oh! Whew, I am depressed, boys. Yes, if you wish. Son of a bitch. Can't believe we crashed there. Well, fuck. This sparrow is ready to fly. Oh, bitch, man. Man. That was going... Yes. That was going great. That was actually perfect. Alhoon didn't even join the fight. Oh, fuck me. Let's see. What can I do? Well, let's do it again, boys. What can you do, boys? What can you do? Well, he actually got hit with the Sonic Maids this time. Get off my brains, you fucker. You can't have my brains. Oh, she already has a sequencer lined up. Fuck me. Yeah, she's still got the secret word then. Oh, yeah. Well, it is what it is, I guess. I wonder how long the fucking, uh... Amaze is gonna last on Hair to His intellect's not that low. It's not that great, either. Oh, he's back already. Oh, he's unbuffed, too! Well, that's actually kind of annoying. Skin protection for magical weapons, so we can't die in melee. 
As long as he doesn't get three, she should be fine as long as that's out. For the needy, boys. Fuck me, that's so unfortunate. Oh, we missed out on our inventory management too. Ah, uh, game tells the party is too good, someone might get perma killed for it. All right, I'm gonna quick save after every fucking fight here. We don't have that fucking bug hit us again. Damn, that's so frustrating. Alas, boys, alas. It's not the end of the world, though, boys. This means we get to see these fantastically incredible fights again. How lucky are we? You thought that we were gonna do this once? Hell no, boys. Hell fucking no. We're just getting started and we're gonna crash again and do it again and again. The seventh circle of hell is doing the Mind Flayer dungeon over and fucking over again. Oh, I love it so much. Holy shit. Yeah, let's see. Okay. I think we're about almost here. Almost done here. I think nobody else needed any management besides Yan. Yeah, okay. We're good. Oh, what the fuck? There's a mage up still. Fuck this dude think he is. Planted blade in my innards? I don't think so, buddy. Oh, he's still invisible on top of it. Okay. Oh, where's our boy? There he goes. Got a breach there, buddy. Yeah, I don't think so, fucker. Oh, bitch. Yeah, we're good. We are gonna have to rest again just because Harley's is not completely butt naked. Unfortunate, but it's, it is what it is. Okay. Just gonna quick save again in case we get another fucking crash. Let's go for boys. We need besides a summon or two? I don't think so. The chaotic commands then will be good. Okay. Yeah, I'll have my dude just summon a couple of swords while here to least goes and Pulls him in. You know, this time, way back. You have my Just glad to be in the Come at me, you bitches. immune to detonates effects. Get off my brains! Get off my brains! 
Nice. Okay. Alright, save again so you don't crash. We're good, no crashes. Oof, alright. These motherfuckers, man. These motherfucking mind players, dude. They're fucking brutal right now, boys. They're actually brutal. They're actually brutal. Alright. Alright, see it up. Alright, last fight, boys. The last battle in here. We got this, boys. We got this. We can do it. Okay, what do we want next? Yeah, blues. We're going to summon some fucking uh, shit. Summon some swords. Okay, two swords should be good. Okay, Kata commands myself and here to lose. Let me pull it up. Then I'm gonna go and get the improvement this up here. Yeah, let's see if we can actually do it this time. Quick save again in case we crash. I think we have pretty much everything up we want right now. We yeah, need to be good. And uh, Yan can go and start casting uh, Drew Sight too. Alright, uh, see if they're coming in hot. Alright, they're coming in hot. Come at me, dudes. Pull back a bit, let's get them out of the room. Here they come. Here they come. Hercules' brains are the only ones that are remotely in danger. Okay. Where is everything else? Where are the Umber Hulks and the other motherfuckers? Damn you little bitches. Yeah, there's that whole fuck. Oh, we better go and get our spell movies up. in the party. That's a regular mind flare. Left is out home, boys. Using a quick save will look good. And we'll go and do them up. So far, so good, boys. We're doing good. Problem is, the only thing that sucks right now is I have no idea what Alhoun has up. Yeah, they already started coming in hot. Yeah, with, when you're spamming a MMM, it's pretty much guaranteed that if you scroll up in a combat log, you're not going to see jack shit. Sadly, but that's just the way it is. Ready other 
Okay, let's chop this dude up. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can send a skeleton in and see if we can get him to pop real quick, then we'll send in hair release afterwards. Yeah. Oh, he's got permanent aura cleansing, that's right. Absolutely hilarious the way that works. Uh, a role I am glad to play. Oh, that's unfortunate. From the ages. Should be immune to Sonic Glass still. Okay, but double remove magic. Spell immunity wore off. Fuck me, dude. It's possible he can kite it out, but unlikely. Cut it out. Okay. Forward wilting, really? Well, wow. let's see. Is there anything we can possibly use to save this idiot? I think the answer is no. Goodbye, my friend. We can try Wizard Eye, I guess. See what happens here. Oh dear lord. Oh wow, he summoned a Glabrazu. Okay, time to go. You won. I give up. Oh, it's a Cornagon. Never mind. It looked like a Glabrazu. Hmm. What? Yes, if you wish. Let's see. Let us see here. Only I could do as much for all in need of me. I try so hard. What can I I will do what I can. How can I help? Glad to be of assistance. Except Uncle Gerhardt isn't passed out by the turnip still in the corner. What? Uh... Am I needed? Always willing no, to try. Failing, huh? All right. Yeah, yeah. Heads up, you have Mars. How's it going, my dude? Please, I'm yeah, let's see what we can do here. Well, that's unfortunate. I kind of was hoping that wouldn't happen. The corn again is unsummoned, however. Okay, here comes Alhoon. Oh, he's invisible still, of course. If I hit him with a dispel, we can actually take him down easy. Oh, we got him. Get him, boys. Really? He managed to get that off? Alright. Still invisible, that's right, because it's improved what? invisibility. Yes, yes. A standard tactic that. How can I help? I can hear you. Yes, so can I yes. Oh, you motherfucker. 
that dimension door? Shadow door, okay. Come on, Yan, get his ass out. Oh god, where is he? What the fuck is going on? How's this dude healing so much? Teleport field. Well, that's unfortunate. Die! And she just got breached. Alright, let's get everyone up here. The unkillable Alhoon. Oh good, that's a bad spell. Oh, it was a Mordenkainen, okay. Uh, uh, fucking, uh, the spells look all the same. Why is this death spell not going off? For fuck's sake, die. Oh my god, we got him. He's dead. We did it, please. Fucking magical swords. Good lord, dude. We got him, boys. He's dead as fuck. Yes, you must. Woof! Alright. Let's get a fucking res up on our, uh, on our fucking motherfucker, dude. Holy shit, what a battle! Fucking Al Hoon, man. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm. Nothing like a dude who has permanent improved alacrity on. A mind flare with improved alacrity. You know, if you critical a troll, you can kill without fire acid. Nice. Yeah, death spell kills every troll on the screen when you fucking cast it. That's what I like most about it. I try to avi avoid uh, fighting trolls if I can. I can stitch, let it fall to the ground, then. Well, we did it without anyone getting permed. Shit, I don't think anyone even had their brains eaten. It was just poor hair to least got uh, pounded by the horde wilting, and that was it. Not bad at all, boys. Not bad at all. It's hard to regenerate from chunks, that's true. It's very hard to regenerate from chunks. Your mama can't sew that, dude. Can't sew that shit back together. Okay, what else we got here? Last couple potions for inventory management, and then it's time for the eye, and then it's time for fucking uh, spell hold, boys. Yes. All right, good shit. Yeah, flawless vigor. You're just gonna keep cook saving and starting to. Looks like it's letting up a little bit outside. So. I'm ready. Yeah, but consider we had that hard crash in here earlier. Oh man, that was brutal. We clear, clear every room in the last fight, and then the game fucking crashes, so we get to start all over. Brutal. But we did it, boys. We fucking did it, lads. We showed the Mind Flayers who's boss, man. They ain't got shit on us, you hear me? Ain't got shit on us. Check some shit here real quick. Hurry back two seconds, boys. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream, lads.
Alright. Tell him, girlfriend. Hell yeah, man. Let him know, dude. King Kong ain't got shit on me, boys. Alright. Let's see how much XP we got. We got about 50k per person in there. That was a pretty decent chunk. That's more than I expected. Wow. Yeah, considering fucking the Mind Flayers are like 10k and the Litharids are like 20. Now Hoon's like fucking who knows. Oh, we didn't uh, finish uh, what's his name's tower either. The Wan T are still up in there. Tom, take you. But Keller doesn't even have a zombie to fight down here. Poor guy. He's got nothing. Take it easy, Keldorn. There's no way to pass. We actually have to talk to Keldorn. Well. Halt and go no further, layman. There be a grave evil here. The source of which I have yet to find. I trust you wish to continue our journey. Wait. Oh, I never... Oh, I'm such a dumbass. I never actually talked to uh, the dudes up top. Wow, I'm an idiot. Kill him? We might end up needing him at some point. Hopefully not, but... Uh, there have been times in the past where I'm like, Man, if only, if only we didn't do X, then we could Y. But... Yeah, I think we'll pass on murdering the paladin for now. For now. We'll take a while, when we get to the TOB, when we're up... Fucking area, dude. What was, what was I gonna say? Yeah, when we're about to kill a Melisande, we'll go and wipe out the other party members that we don't like. Like, if Saren's still alive, we'll summon him and kill him real quick. But for now, you wanna keep them all on backups just in case, dude. So far, this is probably our best run. I don't think we've actually lost a single person. Knock on that sh wood again, dude. He wants to do? Of course he does. Actually, she just wants to whine about her wings. Boo, boo, boo. Yes. Bitch, please. Alright, where are we going, boys? Anyone remember? Oh, I remember. As I thought. We're not leaving. We're going to talk to these idiots up here. And then we're going to go pick up fucking... Uh, Vaconi and have her uh, face tank everything, I think will be the best thing to do here. Yeah. The Vicky face tank, boys. We'll have Vicky face tank the uns- Well, then again, Corgan can throw his axes at the uh, the Death Tyrant. So maybe it would be better to have Corrigan instead of Vicky. Hard to say. It was definitely a close as fuck fight last time, that's for sure. Give her some kush and she will fly again? Maybe. Maybe, dude. I'm gone. Come then. Well, you can see if you spell shield, use the scepter CD all only spirit and get pissed at you. Use the scepter can have a special weapon. I'm a jibber, just have a Thanks, I appreciate it. Appreciate you letting me know, buddy. Yeah, we usually give the scepter to um, somebody who can use a shield, so they almost never have spell shield up. Huh. That's interesting, though. Ooh, ooh. If you wish. Excuse me. Should be good. Never betray trust. Such is the will of the vigilant one. Did you watch the Bill Clinton vid? Is this a recent video, Bill Clinton? Oh, oh, that video? Yeah. Yeah, I watched that one. The comedian? Yeah. I thought you were talking about Bill Clinton actually talking and saying something. Holy shit. What is yes? Yes, Edwin, I you see. lazy bastard. What? What do you want? What was there? Tell me. I honestly have already completely forgotten, dude. You must gather your party before venturing. And link it again, and I'll watch it again right now, buddy, just for you. If you wish.
Can't believe you can't actually get down here unless you talk to Gull. Oh. Fucking goblins. Yeah, I know Bill Cosby. Damn turnip hating scum, dude. Who hates turnips, boys? That's my question. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party ooh, before ooh. venturing forth. Holy fucking moly, dude. I'm gonna click this shit here. Am I right? No other entertainers are doing that. You know I'm right. You don't see like no country western stars going at it and shit. Am I right? You don't see them like gangsters and shit. You couldn't see like Clint Black and Billy Ray Cyrus going at it and shit. Could you see that shit? Clint like, I, 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 you Billy? Heard you talking shit, boy. Fuck around. This is more you like me before. I don't play that shit, the son of a bitch. I'll kick your ankle, break your ass up in this motherfucker. Seven goddamn times. You fucking with the wrong motherfucker, bitch, now. Jackson and Farcon. You better recognize. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> All right. It's amazing. It's wonderful as I. Yeah, it's pretty good, dude. There's not enough jello pudding pops in there to be a good impression though. Alright, yeah, get out of here. I'm gonna fucking recast this shit. Here we go. Zone of Sweet Air, let's go. Oh, he actually got most of us unconscious there. What a bastard. Oh no, and then shadows from the other side, boys. They're coming at us. Coming right at us! Yeah, we're good. Alright, I think we'll go this way first. That's right, there's traps up here. Gotta let everybody else catch you up before we uh, charge in like a crazy bastard here. Alright. Get in there again. I'm not that allergic. Holy shit, I'm getting hungry, boys. Oh, by the way, uh, the pillow is ordered. I picked the uh, anime pillow. I figured that would be the uh, the most, uh, the least offensive, but still amusing uh, body pillow. Well, how the fuck did he? Oh, Edder Cap. Um, I actually think the uh, Keldorn one is the funniest one. So we might do that one next instead of an Immoen body pillow, but. Uh... If you guys want to vote on which pillow you want next, uh, you can do that on the Discord. Or if someone wants to start a straw poll, they can do that. But I'd probably do the Discord because the pictures are actually... Uh, you can actually see the pictures and pick which one you think is best there. Just throwing it out there, boys. And if MRA is here, if he, there's a picture that he wants to see. Obviously, you get priority, buddy. Since the body pillows... Or in your name, my friend. Or was it anonymous? I don't remember. Hard to say. My memory fucking sucks, dude. My memory's going, boys. I'm worried about that. I'm a little worried, but they should. They said it should be a couple weeks, and then we'll have a. We'll have a body pillow on stream. We'll have Animan under my arm over here on my left side, and I'll tilt the camera down so you can enjoy Animan in all his fucking glory, boys. Should be good. Should be good. I think the Keldorn one's the funniest, but I don't know. Analia pillow for the needy? Yeah. You go find some fucking pictures, boys. Post them on Discord, and we'll vote for the next best pillow. We'll vote for the next pillow. We've got enough for two pillows, and, uh... Yeah, needs voice. Yeah, that'd be so great. A body pillow with a fucking... A tape recorder in the middle, and you squeeze it, it yells for the needy. Or, in my father's name. Both of those would be great. May our deeds be sung through the ages. Well, if you wish. 
I like how the vampiric mists actually take damage in the cloud kill shit. Hilarious to me. Yeah, we're good here. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. We'll see how it goes. Hmm. It's ironic that we fucking blew our only, uh... Oh, wait, we had another one and I'm an idiot? I thought we already blew Zone of Sweet Air. I didn't know he rested again. Oh fuck, no point now. Might as well just wait it out. If? F question mark? I'm afraid I don't get it. Oh no, I'm lagging. Oh, okay. Oh, did you get- did you hear everything I said about the body pillows? Oh, it's buffering? Oh, fuck. You guys good? Thumbs up, boys. Everyone okay? All right. Did you guys hear everything about the body pillows? We didn't miss that, right? Hold! You tread on sacred ground. Only those who serve the unseeing eye may enter. I am God, High Priest of the One God. Shit, there's a serious delay here now. Holy fuck. That is a hardcore delay. Holy fuck, that is beyond 30 seconds. Wow. Holy shit, that was almost like a full minute. Damn, alright. Hmm. I might end up restarting the stream anyways then, if that's the case. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. There's no reason for that at all. Holy shit, dude. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do I'm gonna... As soon as you guys hear this, type 1 in chat. And I'm gonna start timing it. Twenty-three seconds. Holy shit! Well, that sucks, but what can you do? What? Yes, it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Damn, that's a long ass time. Holy shit, really? You're fucking with me, Rainer. There's no way, dude. I'm busy, okay? There's no way. Yes? Please, you need to let me help. Rainer, I hope you're just messing with me, dude. Wow. Well, yeah, you got a hardcore delay over there, my friend. That's some brutal shit for sure. Holy fucking moly, boys. I know there's a fucking lightning bolt down here, dude. I don't remember where it is. There it is, boys. It tried to get us, but we are ready. Is there a griffin about? We're ready for it this time, man. But damn, they're actually fucking up my fruit. Ripperoni, dude. 
All right, let's go down here into the beholder's lair, boys. You must gather your party before venturing forth. The lair of the filthy eyeball creatures. Oh, sorry, pick up tensors here. Hmm. Pretty good spell. I think every time we ended up trying to use it in the past, it didn't go well for us, but... Really? I didn't even know you could get feared by these things. I guess the wandering horror is a lot more horrifying than I thought. You know, you'll force my last your friends here not that far away. Yeah, that's fucking weird, dude. That's so weird. Harry, please. Can't summon because we can't control her either. Yeah, refreshing may help. No, giverlings, they're everywhere. There, get out of there, dude. Oh, she's back. Oh, shit. I'm fucking nervous, boys. I know we got money here, too. Tricky shit comes into play. You need something? Oh fuck! Wow, we had no fucking uh, no death words. That's right, we're doubling up on those because we had to for the uh, vampire bitches. Yeah, of course you get a link. And why wouldn't we, right? Yeah. No. Let me rest, you little fuck. Yeah, some feels bad, dude. Can you fucking seriously stop this shit? I don't want to have to invis to get a rest off, man. Actually, you know what should work perfectly is the improved invis shit with Edwin. Because that means we'll rest and we'll get a perfect rest off, and then the invis will end too. So that should actually work perfectly. Unless, of course, this happens. Walk over here and try it again. That's what we wanted to see. Okay. I throw up all the usual protections on myself. And we're gonna get a project image up here. Good up here. Yes. What? You need it shall be done with skill and care, if uh. not remedy. Yes. Nice. 
Five improved tasted fucking skeleton warriors, please. Let's do it up. Where are the boulders? Absolutely ridiculous. I'll do it for it. Wow. You know what right. this just act and I'll do that time. Where is the wizard eye? Fucking beholders, dude. This is a hell of a lot easier than fucking doing it the old way. Running up there with a fucking shield and praying you get some good RNG. This is working out pretty well. And they don't seem to be killing the wizard eye either. The director fucked up the wizard eye big time last time. He didn't stand for that shit. Like, hell no, dude. Alright, so far so good, boys. So far, so good. First beholder pack. Shit up. The earth, our fates await us. Just think I can do that. We should need Ophar to lie in our graves. Huh? If you wish. Oh, fuck. Yes. My. For the Doom Guard, I strike a blow! Your brother. Thy will be done. May our deeds be sung to the ages! Faster than Chiquita Fash Paws or some shit. Faster than that one bitch. As Ari would say. There's still be a couple more traps up here. I think there's just one. I think we're good here. There it is. Alright, let's go. Let us cross the bridge, boys. The army of darkness, dude. All my fucking enormous skeleton warriors. That's a big fucking skeleton, dude. Nice, right, get inside. You must gather your party before it's venturing Hila, bitch. forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Fucking Edwin's forth. stuck behind all the fucking skeletons, dude. Yes, I love yes. it. A standard yeah, I don't know what Alright, uh, does she not have a regular heal spell? Alright. These guys would have died from magic damage and expired a long time ago, 90% of our own stones. Yeah, oh, absolutely, dude. Does it not actually die to heal? Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, the magical swords aren't that great against beholders, but magical swords are really useful against other fucking shit. Magical swords are good against pretty much everything else, honestly. Anything that doesn't cast magic or spam magic, magical swords are great against. Beholders, yeah, magical swords will just disappear in two seconds. Although, to be fair, they might get an attack or two off before they die. But yeah, probably not. Yeah, for sure. Might even work to cast enchant weapon on some of them if necessary. That would definitely help. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, usually the problem... The reason these skeletons end up sucking is when they run up against the Death Tyrants. Which have uh, protection for magical weapons, which means the skeletons can't hit ball. Very good versus demons and golems, yeah. Thanks to Rift Device Bug, I filled it, filed this wrist fix back to well and beam throw cracking. Easy fix, nice. Good shit. Came dog the fucking champion, man. Woo! 
All right. Oh, we're already missing. Our boy Yan. And I really dislike having the stone skin graphic, but if I take it off, then I'll always wonder if I have stone skin up. It's yeah, taking care of business, man. It is done. Nothing left behind, dude. You might actually be high enough for a lich. Huh? Uh, I think we'll be close. Probably won't get the Lich, and even then it will be uh, a pseudo-Lich. It shouldn't have uh, every HLA in the game and shit like that, like the other two Liches do. Should be kind of like Edwin's Lich. Is that you? Have you returned successful? Yes. Maybe like a, a Horrid Wilting or two. That'll be it. Should be good. And then after that, we'll make our way over to Spellhole, boys. Give a is the dicking, and we'll go fuck up some fish people. And finally, we'll be at last in the Underdark. Our home away from home, boys. Where we get all the good items, the good XP. Oh, that's gonna be marvelous. The good spells that we're missing. Actual fucking spell immunity again, which would be nice. Ooh, ooh. That's the one thing a sorcerer can't do. And they can't contingency specific spells. Spell immunities, I mean. Okay. Heal and repent. I love that Heal line. And repent. Cast off your old belief. I am one of the few you who I have chosen. Was the movement spell immunity properly? Like I said, divination protect for choosing a cell here. That would be great. Sorry for being creepy. I mean, I don't even know. I don't know who who I would talk to to fix that shit. I don't know, man. If you're able to do the the pretty much break the game, they probably did that on purpose. Anything that can't see through invisibility is now completely fucked. Like, if you were to fight Lavoc and threw up divina uh, spell immunity, divination, alteration, abjuration, just one big ass fucking contingency with a spell trigger, you'd be basically immune to magic for two turns. And there's just nothing they could do. Yeah, if that worked, I don't. I don't. That'd be pretty broken, even in SCS. Like, I don't know, how, how, what could they possibly cast to get around that? They can't get rid of your invisibility through fucking uh, non-magical means. It's not like they have a thief there to go and detect traps or anything like we do. I don't know. For all I know, that's actually intended just to prevent that from happening. Oops. I'm about to die for a minute. Oh shit! Oh, he got hit with the, the mummy breath. I was like, wow, did his shit actually wear off? Holy moly. The mummy breath hits so hard. That was just a regular mummy breath. If that was greater, he would have already been dead. Yeah, there are all kinds of stuff that, yeah, it'd be so hard to fucking... I mean, what could you... What could an enemy possibly do to get around that? I'm pretty sure the it's an SCS component that allows uh, so many enemies to see through invisibility. I just... I don't see what they could possibly do. Aside from just flat out fucking nullifying it with uh, permanent uh, invisibility since and shit. I mean, like, I'm just not getting dispelled by True Sight, despite being an illusion. That's supposed to be intended, as far as I know. Ah, mayhap this will be the end! Project image, um... is will reveal illusions like True Sight, but it doesn't say that for Simulacrum. A duplicate is created, yeah. It doesn't say that it can be dispelled, so... 
I'm assuming it's intended, because it doesn't say that in the, the text either, but... I mean, I might be wrong. Hell please. Just, oh, fuck, he got, uh... Shit. I don't think we have any more heals, do we? Yeah, he's gonna die unless we can fucking rest here. Oh, that worked out nicely. Good shit. Thieves detect illusion. Yeah, that's basically it. Project my- oh, protect your detect image. Yeah. Thieves detect illusion actually works on a simulacrum, does it really? Huh. That's weird. Fate beckons us all. Yes. Yes. Could you imagine if spell immunity abjuration made you actually immune to abjuration spells? That'd be so busted. Holy fuck. Yeah, I didn't think it did. Yeah, well, I mean, it's an illusion spell, but it doesn't count as an illusion that can be dispelled. It, it literally says on project image, can be dispelled with a uh, true sight, but it doesn't say anything at all for simulacrum. With all the SIs. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. But uh, my question was about what could an enemy do to get around that? Because an enemy is not going to always have a thief with it that can use Detect Illusion, right? If I'm fighting Lavak and I throw up Spell Immunity, Abjuration, Alteration, uh, Divination, he literally cannot touch me for fucking 20 rounds. He can't target me with any spells. He can't dispel my improved invisibility with any in magical means. He can't even fucking hit me with Warding Whip and all that other shit to break my spell protections. I mean, it is, there's nothing that an enemy could do. So if they actually implemented Spell Immunity Divination to work for a party side, your mages would be unstoppable. Because all the enemies in the game that see through invisibility, aside from bosses, are like dragons and liches, and even then, it's ba there's some undead that can see through besides liches, but like, what could you do? What could they possibly do to kill you? Nothing, yeah, exactly. And so, like, it'd be so broken if that actually worked. Because there's literally nothing an enemy could do to fucking kill you, really. Yeah, exactly. If, if it actually worked as intended, like... I, I don't see what you could possibly do aside from making every enemy... Either you have to change improved invisibility to where enemies can target you regardless uh, of whether or not you have invisibility up, or there's, I mean, that's basically it. Not much could be done for sure. What the hell? Have you nothing else to do but bother me? Oh, it's taking poison damage. Okay. It's like, why is my Afridi stuttering? Double dispel remove magic? And that doesn't work with uh abjuration up. If you can if you are able to spell trigger divination, alteration, then abjuration, you'd be immune to every single spell in the game, basically. Because you'd have protection from magical energy up and protection from fire. And with stone skin and mirror image, you couldn't be physically hit either. And God forbid you throw protection for magical weapons, you're literally immune to magic. And then you're literally immune to physical too. And if at level 20, since it's a round per level, that means you have a full 120 seconds of being completely immune to everything in the game. And if your saves are low, and they should be, because you have blur and mirror and improved invisibility and all that other garbage up, it's I mean it's it's game over, you know? There's nothing they could possibly do. Yeah, bone golem again. Okay. Fuck, he got hit with a... Well, that's frustrating. 
I'm not sure if we'll be able to save him with the, with the mummy breath shit on him. We'll try, though. He's probably good. Is that a greater mummy? Yeah, greater mummy breath, so he's completely fucked. Damn. Yeah, greater mummy is uh, pretty strong. Fucking mummy breath, boys. Yeah, there's... I can't think of anything off the top of my head that would possibly work. If you have your other spell protections up, which basically lasts forever. I think you're pretty much immune. And especially when you get to the point where you can literally spam protection from magical weapons because there's nothing else for you to cast. Yeah, it'd be really tough to get around that. I mean, which is the whole point, right? Is that eventually we're going to be in the position where Herdalise is going to be able to spam that shit in melee. And other mages can cast it too, so where even planetars aren't really a threat. And the biggest threat is spellcasters who drop time stop and then spam multiple spell removals. Multiple spell strikes. The holders with their anti-magic ray. Those become the, the severe main threats. The most threatening of enemies, to be sure. With dragons being potentially threatening, but typically not. I think these would actually be pretty good for Edwin. Because he has the worst dexterity, for sure. Yeah, that's nice. A nice fucking AC boost for him. It's three saber death, not that good. I mean, actually, it is good, but not good for this party. Pass that over to her. Just throw that shit right in the trash. Okay. Projected majors are close and range weapons equipped with the, the original will attack even though it should not, at least it will attack if AI is on. Huh. <laughs> Alright boys, now it's time for the part that's actually difficult. The beholders. The filthy beholders, boys. Yeah, yeah. Are they gonna behold the shit out of us? Or are we gonna behold the shit out of them? Only time will tell. And do I want to go and pick up Vicky or Corrigan for the last part? Because what ended up happening the last time is we used the rod on the Eye Tyrant, right? But he didn't die. He was close to death and we couldn't finish him off before he started throwing up all his spell protection shit. So we ended up uh, almost dying there. 
He dropped uh, multiple webs and stinking clouds. I remember that for a fact. I'm trying to think what else he did. Maybe. Not too sure. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's worth running back and picking up... Oh, dear God. This is an unfortunate position here. Okay. This sparrow is ready to fly. Yes. What? Right, let's get off this platform before we rest again. Actually, we should be able to walk inside and then rest now that I think about it, because they don't spawn right at the entrance. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Fuck, resting in here gives me a chance to get a goth. I've got to remember that. However I can. Shit, I'm gonna miss my phone a little more. I think we got it there. Okay. As I thought. Urgent, is it? Tis a role I am glad. Have her loose in front. Want my dude to be way in the back with the project image. Yeah, it's possible, man. It's really hard to say for sure. I actually have no fucking idea what this is. It's this a giant nipple or a butthole or fucking who knows, dude. Who the fuck knows? Who can say with certainty, boys? Faith, I a fair gambit. What? So for the most part, these fights are actually pretty easy because they're like goths or something. Yes. I do not care. I a fair gambit. Tis a fair gambit, boys. Lee Marvin, the hero, projecting his image all over the place. Gross as fuck, at the very least. I don't know. I mean, this does this does look biological, doesn't it? Trying to flesh this. Holy. Fucking moly. This welcome laid for That is a lot more fucking beholders than I remember in this spot. Am I Raven? Faith the beneath the earth our fates await us. And just think, we shan't need go far to lie in our graves. Readier than a red cheeked maiden, my friend. Yeah, die bitches. Die, you motherfuckers. Oh, wait, no, now we're done. Hold up. That is a lot more beholders than I remember, dude. Like, straight up. Wow, there's even more behind them. Like, am I crazy? Was there always this many right here? I think we're getting extras because of our levels. What? What can I be of most about? Well, obviously, it's impossible to say. You flanked them, skellies from front, hasted Mordenkainen's in the back? Maybe. I'm pretty sure the Mordenkainen's would just die instantly though, dude, for real. Tis a role I am glad this sparrow wow, there's I more. To dance to your oh no! Oh no! Yes. Jorn Jonsson at your service. Oh dear. Oh nice, he hit him with anti-magic ray, which dispelled his own, uh, his own charm. Holy shit, that's funny.
Spooky though, for sure. Oh. Right, get in there, my boy. That was spooky for sure. I wonder maybe if the pandemonium harp could work here for us too. I do not care it's possible you that uh, if we can knock the beholders metal. back using the harp Fine. and hitting them maybe with a confusion spell, that helped tremendously. But their saves are probably through the roof. I mean, the chances of that actually working slim to none, right? Let's be honest here. Chances are probably pretty fucking slim. I, my raven? Another quick save while we're in here in case we get to this fucking wonderful crashes again. Should be able to go and send all the skellies in there and I can start having at the, uh, the blind priests. I'll come up here and grab my Lee Marvin guy. Really? This blind priest with the best saves in the fucking world right here. Help me out, skeleton sword thing. Oh, well, there he is. Okay. Get a magical sword, and I believe in you, buddy. No, don't hit me out within fucking your stealth detection crap. Oh, that was a sanctuary. Okay. Get him, sword! Get him, sword! No, stop popping potions, you little bitch. Yeah. Alright, fuck it. I'll finish you off here. Oh wait, no. Are we losing? Oh, really? really? Did I not just knock him back and he keeps casting shit? Oh dear lord. I forgot, he did get completely dispelled, didn't he? Can also work, they have good saves no more. Yeah, it'll be tough for sure. Yeah, I don't know, my friend. I don't know. Readier than a red cheek mate, my friend. What? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just improve taste what we got here. Oh, they actually came up to fight us. I do not care yes. much for being covered all the time. Let me get improved taste on here by us then. Death! Death! I a fair gambit. Yes. I guess we'll just keep hitting him with like magic missiles or some shit to work out for us. Ooh, whoa, whoa. All right, good shit. That's right, we got a couple motherfuckers down here with full plate, don't we? All right, I think we actually want to rest here. Get our project images back real quick before we go at it for the final... The final home stretch. Yes, if you wish. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? I'm really fucking nervous about the last fight there. Uh, we did get awakened. Goth. F 
fucking goths, dude. Emos and goths. Do it for the needy. Hell yeah, dude. Seriously? We're trying to sleep in a beholder lair. What's so hard about this? Really? No, fuck it. I'll just get this XP all day, dude. There we go. Uh, I do not care what you do to it all the time. Yes, Yeah, we're gonna finish full clearing this place before we actually start looting shit. Make sure it's all good and done. <laughs> I think there should be one more pack over here. And then maybe like one goth up here and then we should be good to tackle the last fucking spot. Might not even be a goth up here. It might be empty. Oh, just kidding. Yes, out with it. Oh, that's not good. Fate is a role I am glad to play. Get shit on. Get shit on, idiot. Yeah, I'm not sure how many more there are, so I'm going to project here. Enter Holy fuck, dude. Uh, you have to play this whole fucking area like such a bitch. I hate it so much, dude. There's, there's literally no way to fight Beholders. There really, truly, honestly isn't. There's no good way of dealing with Beholders. This sparrow is I a fair gambit. Use a quick save in case we get a crash while we're here. Should be good though. I think we might actually be able to go into the final area. The older the shield that reflects their rays, it does they can rip it out of your hand. As long as you're holding it, it's perfectly fine. Although for some reason it doesn't work for anti magic ray. But um Yeah, that's perfectly fine for when you actually have it in your inventory, but they rip it out of your hands and then it's gone for until you kill the beholder. So, protection for magic scroll? For all I know, that ends up getting dis destroyed by a fucking anti-magic ray. It's, it's so stupid the way it works, but it's the way it works. Oh, they have a telekinetic uh, eye stalk. Oh, is that actually it? Okay. Where can I be of most you? How is that all? I I'd hope for more. Am I needed? Yes. Okay. Uh, ready up and we don't want to loot it until we're actually all prepped and ready for battle. Gas spells, but rays have no effect. Are you sure? We got all the big ones up on us now. Yeah, 
Yeah, of course, we got fucking goth. Goth interruptions, dude. They don't even know we're here. We're all invisible trying to take a nap. Alright, here we go, boys. I'm nervous as fuck, boys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually nervous as fuck. This is where shit gets brutal here. This is where shit gets real fucking brutal. I'm trying to remember. I'm 99% sure Corrigan was the one who ended up finishing them off. Maybe an Afridi might be able to pull it off. If we can just get rid of their basic spell protections. If we can just go hard and fast real quick. Maybe. The Djinn might be able to do it. The Djinn might be able to fucking do it. Yes. You need something? What? Maybe. Oh. Maybe. Uh, as I thought. Uh. Pardon, cherub reflex. This sparrow is ready to fly away at your command, of course. They're already safe, we're good. We're already safe in case we get a crash here. Should be good. Who is the highest save? What is um, Stone to Flesh actually? I know it's an alteration spell. Saver spell, okay. Who has the highest base saves? I'm at three, three. Nolly is at two, but she's buffed. Zan's at zero. But if we lose Yan, then we don't have a thief. That'd be so painful. Okay, it looks like Yan has the highest base saves because he's a, a midget. So it might be best for Yan to be the one who actually uses the, uh, the thing, the wand, the, the rod. Yeah, no, but like I said, there's. I don't want to risk Aerie. If we lose Aerie, then it's. We're in serious trouble. Okay, the rod has been assembled. And it's in my inventory, and we can't get it because of my stupid, uh. My project image. Well, that is just the funniest shit in the world, isn't it? Absolutely hilarious stuff right there. 10 out of 10. It shall be done with skill and care. What is it now? Let me give you an improved taste here. At what you worship? You need my skills, I see. Okay, it's down here. We're good. Where's my project image? Get down here. You I'll do it for a turnip. Okay. What? Is there a griffin about? Don't yell. I can hear you just fine. Oh my god. Contingency abjuration immunity. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't see a stone skin out. Yon Yonson at your service. We got it. And then the death tyrants are coming in at the last second. We should be able to kill them quickly without any problems. Yes. <sighs> Whew, we did it, boys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. That's what's supposed to happen. Is you got to kill them right away. If you don't kill them right away, 
This fight will go on for literally minutes. Entire fucking minutes, dude. Alright. Good shit. This amulet's pretty beast. I think it's 5% magic resistance. Yeah, super useful. Yes. Super good. <laughs> Love smiling upon me. That's right, dude. That's fucking right. All right, boys. Let's fucking go, lads. We did it. One of the hardest... I know it sounds retarded, but that is actually one of the more difficult fights of the game. Just because the, we've had fucking great fucking luck this run of shit just dying instantly for us. Holy fucking moly. Where's the rod? Give me the rift device. Let's go, dude. Gather your party before venturing. One through two? Yeah, the other one uh, died right behind him. If the Death Tyrants... The Death Tyrants actually drop pretty quickly because they don't cast a magical weapon protection until after the second round. They use their eye stalks first and then usually a knockback. So if you kill a Death Tyrant really quickly, it just drops in seconds. And then the, the Unseeing Eye itself... Um, same shit. The Chain Contingency put up immunities for spells, but nothing for physical. So you're able to blow them up really quickly. So, we fucked him up, boys. Haven't cast Truce, right? Did you fight a dragon already? Not yet, but I'm considering doing Fire Crag. Um, Fur Crag, whatever. Fur Crag unsheathing his mighty sword. Yeah, we, uh, I'm considering doing him, but, uh, probably won't. We'll have to see. Dragons are really hard without spell trigger for mages. Fur Craig, exactly, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. F U R Craig. I mean, you have to pronounce it like Fir Craig, right? Or something like that. Fir Craig. <laughs> no mercy. Holy shit, man. Watch the fucking beholders respawn and then one shot. Yeah, and that'd be hilarious. We zoomed in a little too far. I need to zoom out a bit. I at least get a point in greatsword. Maybe two, uh, two a two-handed weapon? Probably. Uh, yes. Probably not. Maybe. Wait, bards can use, like, everything, can't they? Like, isn't that their fucking shtick? Like, a bard can literally use any weapon in the game, right? Able to wield all weapons except composite longbows. So, maybe. Should we give hair to Lise, use any item, and have him run around with Karsimir? That'd be pretty hilarious. That would be pretty hilarious. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, that's exactly what you're thinking. That's some good shit right there. That'd be pretty good, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's right, we did save him, Bruce. No, this doesn't upgrade for her. DC-wise, what was this originally? Oh, reflection of magic of uh, ranged weapons. We'll hold on to that. We might find a use for that later. Especially when we run into fucking the drow. Because the drow uh, will use a lot of ranged weapons. Quote to woe, same way. They use their bolt to paralyze him constantly. So it would be nice to keep that shield around for that point. I don't think there's anything else we want to buy before we go to Spellhold. And I don't think there is, boys. I think we're ready. I'd like to give Tensor's transformation to Herdelise, but it's like... What's the point, dude? I, my raven? We want him not for damage, but for tanking. Tensors will make him do a hell of a lot more damage, but that also means he can't cast any spells for its duration. And it lasts for... Is it a round per level? It's probably a round per level. Yeah, a round per level. Although he does get a decent armor class bonus. Although, wait, it caps at negative 10? Alright, well, never mind. Yeah, okay, that's terrible. It does give him a massive amount of HP, but yeah, kill the infidels. Maybe a point for a Scarlet Ninja Toe. Oh yeah, the Scarlet one's pretty good, but I mean, we're already using Kundane right now. What? Well, I guess we could, since Kundane isn't nearly as good as the Scarlet Ninja Toe. 
because it does way more damage. Short Sword's fucking blow, period. Only reason we're using this over Belm is because he doesn't have a point in Scimitar. Yeah. And yeah, maybe we'll put a point in Scimitar next. I can see that being good. Although to be fair, like when we we're probably not no we probably won't use it because we're gonna when we get a uh, fucking what's the word celestial fury we're gonna use that for the main hand and then we'll have the zerk blade in the off hand so won't be as useful. Yeah, the one APR is huge really, but I think we'll probably be using right, celestial okay. fury and zerk blade. An improved taste will put us at four round attacks per round, which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. Although having Karsamir on would be hilarious because we get fifty percent MR. Although MR doesn't work for a lot of spells too, so it's hard to say. We'll see what happens, dude. We shall see, my boys. Go bother someone else. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. It's up, Mighty Coden. How's it going, my dude? Let's just check out our AC. We're at negative 16 armor class right now. That's 8 AC more than fucking Corrigan ever w could ever dream of having. Because this doesn't include improved invisibility, which is another 4 penalty. No more suffering? Ah, oh, Ripperani, dude. You have a bucket load of money when you're training for the Undertar, consider it. <laughs> now you can use this earth play as well. That's true. Very true. Yeah, she was my original tank, and then I swapped over to, uh... The thing that sucks about Herdalise is he can't tank as well as Nalia can, because she's got this ring, but then she can also wear the Ring of Acuity. Although, to be fair, when he does his Bard Song, he's gonna be... Yeah, he's gonna be super tanky. And Nalia also will have access to a lot more level 9 spells, too, than Herdalise ever will, because obviously it's a Bard, can't get this. Let's see, what's our highest AC? Is it actually me at negative 16? Yeah. He's at negative 12 right now. And when he does his uh, defensive spin, he's at negative 22 armor class, man. So good, dude. Why are mages the best tanks in the game, dude? When I was a little kid, I thought fighters were for tanking and mages were for damage. And as an adult, I realized that it's the other way around. Fighters are for damage and mages are for tanking. Negative 22 AC, boys. I love it so much. Death to the Disbeliever! Although he can't move, so that's kind of stupid too. Oh, let me turn on AI. So we can actually start attacking. You don't pick up my bow, here so we don't forget it. Why is she not attacking? Can I just put her on standard attack? Edwin level and Herodelise level, let's go boys! 3 and 6, those are my favorite spells to get for Herodelise, boys. You can take an improved taste for himself or another protection for magical weapons. I'd like to load up on improved taste, I want everyone to cast improved taste on themselves. If we can fucking manage that, that would be tremendously helpful for me. Okay, this would actually allow me to do that. We lose a couple pierce magics, but I think in the long run it's worth it. Four and five. Man, he's got so many level four spells. We can go for a fire shield, minor sequencer, or a backup mirror image blur, but we really don't need either of those for Edwin. Could go for a third. Stone skin. Maybe an extra secret word so we can sequence her secret words again. Back of improved invisibility, minor globe. Having another greater mouse and our hopelessness actually would be perfect. We already have both of those. We'll just take greater mouse into them for now. We only need one spell shield and one spell immunity. Actually, two would be better. Those are good. Those are good. Don't need more than one breach because I have tons of breaches. Good shit, boys. Oh, we get the guide. I forget this every fucking time. How do I always forget that the guide is down here? That's actually... I'm legitimately curious how I forget every time. 
Ooh, if we swap the belt, we lose a strength bonus. That's right. But what we could do is pop the constitution bonus, put him at 100 HP, then put the belt on. He should still keep the HP. He does. We're good. You even use Cloud Kill? I do. There's a lot of fights where spellcasters are casting in the background, and we really want Cloud Kill to interrupt them. We don't have we haven't run into that yet, but that's coming soon. And there are other times we use it too. Bard Song and Summons, Haste, other buffs will be good until improved alacrity and protection for magical weapons. Yeah. There's definitely some goodies to be had. These are all a complete waste of time, aren't they? I don't think there's actually anything in here that we want. Nobody can cast that. She can learn that. What? Yeah, yeah. Fight. Or now you will I am Irene. How can I help? Your Johnson at your service. Hey, we got him. It's a lot of magic missiles. I love it. Okay. I think there's like a spell or two up here that's actually useful, but not many. There's not much up here to be gained for sure. I'm pretty sure none of these are trapped either, so we can just run in and grab them real quick. Should be good. So dope, dude. Six people casting magic missile with five missiles each doing 1d4 plus one. That's 30 d4 plus one. Up to 150 damage in a single target. That's a lot of damage, boys. That's a lot of fucking damage to be dealt to a single target instantaneously. Not very good guards, are they? You remember the Iron Throne and Baldur's Gate 1, boys? Where the dude's literally by himself and he'll fucking attack and charge my whole party? That was a guard right there. I don't know if that dude was just really well paid, or if he just really believed in his cause. Either way, that man was a champion. These guys are running like little bitches, dude. Just because shit's not going well for them, they're just like, ah, fuck it, I'm out. Forget it. Terrible. Shameful, really, is what it is. It's fucking shameful, boys. Absolutely atrocious. Reprehensible. How are they funny the way out? They're supposed to be blind, immersed, broken, all liars? I mean, you just because you're blind doesn't mean you can't get out of your house, dude. You know what I mean? Obviously they can't see, but they're... They're finding their way out. Maybe I should give the strength belt to Yan. He's the weakest right now. His strength is like nine. That's that's sad. Yeah, he's the worst. Although Edwin's not far behind with 10. Holy fuck. Edwin is not a man who works out, boys. That's for sure. That is a man who does not lift. Do you even lift? The answer is no. The answer is hell no, dude. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having a good time. Thank you so much for watching, dudes. God bless you, my friends. Hope everything in life is going well for you, boys. If you wish. All right, we got the cat dude down there. We did the mind flares. The one T is still alive, but I don't think there's anything else in this tower that we actually want. I think we're gonna go buy a bunch of potions of genius real quick from the temple, stock up, uh, learn what we have, and then make our way over to Spellhold, boys. 
Packers, you might go to spell hold first, then buy from the vendor there, and then drop uh, our potions of genius and learn everything real quick. How close are we to a level? I'm at 230,000, 230, 230. Everyone's fairly about the same. I just hit 2 mil. He's at 1.75 mil. Damn, he's way behind. 2 mil, 2 mil, 2 mil, 2 mil. A little behind, about 120k behind. The yeah, hair least is actually the most behind of all of us. I didn't expect that. Are you into the stream? No, not quite yet, my friend. Still got a while to go here. Yeah, I know. I'm. Not, I don't want anything to do with them. Cat people are actually not too terrible for fighters, but I mean, in case you didn't notice, we have zero fighters in this group, and because of their extremely high AC and buffs, cat people are actually pretty tough for us to take down. So. We'll go and fuck with him later. When we can just hoard wilting his ass to fucking zero. Harry hurt. Wants to kill the customer today. Works allergy milk. And actually, put cheese in his meal. Holy shit! I didn't. That's brutal, man. I used to work at a P.F. Chang's a long time ago, and that was the only restaurant I worked at where people with allergies came in all the time. Very hurt. Yeah. We're gonna X the crap out of the three. Yeah, or Corgan's a fucking beast. Corgan is very curious what your guts look like, and he finds out more often than not. But yeah, I've been there, man. I was I was a cook and a chef for a while, dude. My favorite is when they don't actually fucking tell you. That was one time we have where we actually have an EpiPen on backup, right? Just in case something happens. And uh, this dude just forgot to tell us he was allergic to shit and just has had a reaction. Whole face swell up like a fucking balloon, dude. It was brutal. Your return was for chef at Wendy's? Yeah. What you would say. We, I didn't call myself a chef when I worked at Wendy's, man. That was some juicy XP. You got some gold, got a crappy item. Well worth. Well worth indeed. Just like I thought it would be. Yes, what? Helping others and doing good things. Oh, we gotta do something about this rep, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy you brought me here. I never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Yeah, let's do this too. Let's go uh, kill the little the surly dwarf. I guess we could do that later. It's not like it's a huge XP bonus. And we get a fucking rep point too, I think. Fucking puke. Making me sick to my stomach just thinking about it, boys. All this reputation we're gaining. Oh, it's awful. It's just awful, isn't it? Oh well. As I thought. No, I worked at a couple different restaurants. I actually worked at a handful of different restaurants. Mostly uh, mid I upper middle so class chains. So, how to do the fallen paladins? I guess we could do that too. Yeah. Like what you do, do you re reckon is the best way to get rid of rep? Just murdering a random person. Should I stay around eight if I'm playing evil? Eight will prevent you from having a massive fucking penalty to your uh, prices. Uh, I personally enjoy five as my favorite rep. Except <laughs> ordinary eyeball, man. I'm living the dream, dude. I hope you're doing the same, man. God bless you and welcome back, dude. And midgets will just rob you. Yeah, fucking midgets, dude. Fucking manlets. Yeah, my personal favorite rep is five. Five is a rep where you never have to worry about uh, flaming fist or cowled wizard spawning on top of you. But it also lets everyone know in a game that you're an asshole. And I like that. Five rep is a thumbs up for me. Get the Slayer form soon. Do something once shopping in the Underdark is done. Maybe. Is it? Might I ask why you have disturbed my meditation? What I really need is to work in the medium of my choice, pure elithium. What? Come, my raven, it could be a lark. 
Isn't a lark a bird? I, I, I'm fucking... I literally have to look up a lark now. What is a lark? It's a small ground dueling songbird, typically with brown streaky plumage, a crest, elongated hind claws, and a song that is delivered in flight. I don't know if you're using that word right here, Elise. I don't think you are. Where's the Fallen Paladin's quest start? Uh, we just go and talk to some idiots in the Temple of Helm, or, um, reading hard here. Uh, I'm not really sure the rep. It's definitely charisma based too. It's re well, the way it works is typically rep and charisma are both combined into a number, and if you're above a certain number, you check your reaction adjustment. If the reaction adjustment's high enough, you get the shit. If it's low enough, they if it's not high enough, they don't give it to you. And if it's really low, they'll call you ugly and tell you to get out. It's not you have the exploding slaves. Oh yeah, those are always fun. And spells from the dr yes, the shit in the drow city is quite expensive, but I do have, I am extremely high on gold right now, and I have items to sell on top of it. We basically robbed every merchant blind in the city in the game. So we uh. We're not wanting for cash like we usually are. And there are no big purchases left aside from the level 9 spells. And even then, only two people in my party will need them. I don't need to buy them. I'm a sorcerer. So we only need to buy them for Edwin and Nalia here. You must gather your party before venturing Who the fuck is lagging behind? Fucking Edwin gets stuck on a little kid and its mother. What the fuck? Rival is extremely greedy and you cannot steal from him. This is true. We might kill Rybald at the end of the game. We'll see what happens. Because we killed uh, the guy at uh, the temple right next to Baragost as vengeance for all the money he's taken from us. Potions of Master Thievery, Crimea River Merchants, time to get broke by a gnome. Hell yeah, dude. What's our thieving on Yan? 100 right now, so the potion's 140. Potion of Perception will put it at 160. And I'm probably going to start dumping more points into it to it soon because he's got everything else maxed. Tech Delusion is good even if we take off our helmets. Set traps or caps. Pickpockets, all that good yes. shit. We'll be good. Yeah, before in this hardcore run? Hell yeah, ain't no bitch, dude. Ain't no bitch. I suggest you leave, sir. Your reputation precedes you. Greetings. Damn. Greetings. 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 Yeah, we're not, uh... We're not cool enough to get the the Fallen Paladin quest shit. Yes, We're only at 9, alright? That's not bad. And our charisma is at 24, so we should get a massive reaction adjustment. Reveal the truth, punish the guilty, right the wrong. What a loser. I welcome you with outstretched hand. Wait, what? <laughs> How dare you enter this place, Viper? I suggest you leave. If there is nothing else, I bid you farewell. What? What the fuck? My rep is nine, man. We're not even evil. What the shit? Dude, come on. I mean, like... My rep could be a lot fucking lower, guy. Alright? You must gather your party. Stealing TV from those Sarah is probably the best off since you best you not have anything to do with this Hexad's available for someone as far as I know. Yeah, Hexad's still alive, so some NPCs just check rep directly, not a reaction. Yeah, I do know there are a few. I there aren't that many though. I know there's one uh in Baldur's Gate City, the dude in Havernasters. He will completely ignore charisma. He'll just go for a rep check, and if your rep isn't like fifteen, you can't get it. I'm not sure who else does that, aside from obviously this guy here. Yeah, I do know that exists, but for the most part, it's a combination, for sure. Still annoying though. Man, I can't believe he called me a viper. A viper! For nine rep? Really? Like, I could have come in here with one rep. What a dickhole, dude. What a dick. No shit. You know what we make? Man, I wish... 
If we could get the helm of opposite alignment in Baldur's Gate 2, boys, slap that shit on Nalia and Aerie, man. That'd be so good. Uses reaction almost exclusively. PG2 is more mixed. Yeah. Killing an innocent now will lower your rep only to 6 because the Lord is the less low, less low each murder gets it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, fuck me, dude. What a bunch of dicks. I want to kill every paladin in here, dude. I just want to go on a fucking rampage. We're going to do that. When we get out of the Underdark, dude, every one of those paladins, dead. Their friends, dead. Their family, dead. I want them all dead, dude. He has the balls to call me a viper, and then he's like, Oh, good day. There's some goals. Jackass. We'll get him back, boys. We'll get him back. We'll get him back. We'll make it out of the Underdark. We'll succeed somehow despite the odds. And we'll give them the business that they so rightly deserve. Alright, so we need... Let's see. We need two levels on Edwin, right? Yeah. No, one more level. When Edwin gets one more level, he, he can use level 8 spells. So I can spell trigger... Um, lower resistance, and Edwin can start chain casting... Uh, Ford Wilting, we might actually be able to kill Adelon. Use all your rep if you murder on probably. You see the virtue mod it basically separates rep into a public and private score, so you can super evil, low virtue, but this public so I actually love that idea. I don't know though, I like I like it when people like are I like the reaction where people are just like nervous and wary around me. I enjoy that. But also I I don't like not being able to get quests because of it. It kind of annoys me. Puke. Yeah, but I definitely like the idea of that for sure. Yeah, I, if I if I'd like to customize it completely to just where if it gives me a quest or an option, then I have that option for me. And otherwise everyone just treats me like dirt because they hate me. I like that a lot. I wish good people wouldn't leave the party if you did evil things, though. I wish that if there was, like, a threshold with charisma to where, like, if you're so handsome, people just don't leave you no matter what, no matter how fucking evil and awful you are. I'd like that. I think, uh, I don't remember if we get per person XP for killing Neb. We might not. I know saving the kids gives you a little bit. Not too sure. We'll see. You must gather your party before venturing. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me, boys. Please excuse me. Saving each kid gives you 2,500? Yeah, that isn't much. I wish that was per person. That'd be so sweet. It makes sense. Like, it's such a small amount, dude. That should be fucking per person. We should also raise your rep by one per kid, really? Hmm. Well, if it did that, then we'd definitely be able to fucking, uh... We'd definitely be able to do the Paladin quest. I'm still butthurt about losing the Silver Pantaloons. This is the second time now. Where I've had- oh, though, to be fair, Mazzy kind of botched the first. It didn't give me the dialogue to say I'm going to ransom her. And that pisses me off. And I think that's why we can't actually get the ransom here. Because I walked upstairs solo and I think it glitched past the original dialogue where you have to say, I'm going to ransom you. And so, I don't know, I think it fucked up. I missed the trigger, basically. Um, when I walked up the stairs to talk to her, um, 
it skipped the original dialogue where you have like three options. One's like, I've saved you, m'lady. And the second one's like, who are you? And the third one's like, I'm going to collect your ransom, bitch. And I didn't get that dialogue option. So, oh, it didn't even give it to me. That wasn't my fault. It didn't even give me the dialogue. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? And I just went along with it thinking, ah, oh, you know, it'll be fine. But it is what it is, man. Where are we going? Bridge. It is done. It is what it is, boys. I'm afraid to talk to the kid now and watch Nira fucking spawn and glitch out my game. Let's see what happens, actually. Let's see what fucking happens. I'm just gonna save it real quick in case it glitches out. As I thought. Hi there. You're friends with Talana. I'm her friend too, Talana. Yes, I. I really miss my mom, though. Oh, you know what? My mom gave me a hairband that was really. Before I disappeared, I wish for the big. I hope you hmm. find it and bring it back. I think you will. Bye. So it's it's letting me talk to her like she's actually in the uh, the mage area with fucking Nira. Huh. Stop running, saying I want to talk to you too. Interesting. But Nira hasn't spawned, and I know for a fact we don't have the world map yet. Yeah, she's gone. Because we ended up doing that shit early. Hmm. Oh, it is what it is. Not giving an answer should summon the dude as well. Well, I went and talked to her trying to trigger it. And then it said, the first option was something retarded. The first one was letting her go, right? And the second was, I'm going to, I may collect your ransom still. And so, yeah. Do you know which crate it is, Rainer? I'm not going to spend all day searching crates in this area. Wait, isn't the necklace broken? Isn't it like a... There's a plus two AC, plus two saves? And it stacks with other, uh, other shit? Yeah, I think it's actually pretty good, isn't it? You wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? The fucking experts. Wait, no, you guys are supposed. To, why'd you hit us? You're supposed to be released, children. Why are you killing us, you little bastards? Should have killed them after all. Damn, gosh darn kids. Wait, hold up. What? Oh, I'm carrying 200 pounds of lithium. I was like, hold up. What the fuck happened here? I thought for a second Ned's, Neb's head weighed 200 pounds. Freaked me out. You don't stack with enemy too, it's still good? Yeah, that's for sure. Right back from two networking events to generate some business. Good shit, man. Hope it went well, Mr. The Mask. Hope it went well, my dude. Oh. Click. How stupid is Hexat's bed now? It's pretty stupid still. I feel dirty just having it in my inventory, to be honest, because it, it completely ruins the point of having Bag of Holding, right? Remember how every time we go to Spell Hold, we're like, Yes! Bag of Holding! We finally have it! And that's completely, you know, invalidated by the fact that we've had one the whole time. <sighs> the end's right, dude. <laughs> What do you need, citizen? The box with the necklace is where near spawns. Oh, really? Huh. So it's right there. Gather your party before venturing yeah, forth. Yeah. Never happy baby rage. Oh, my legs are just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now, please? I mean, I'm happy, dude. You no, know I'm gonna, I'm trying to be happy. Life is great, boys. Everything about everything is just fantastic. Let's done. check this barrel here. Huh? Is it actually in the crate right next to the kid? <laughs> this is a magical glitch right here. Well. Nah. Well. I need rest and nah, I am nah. to fight. Nah, we're good. 
We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go to the fucking, uh, let's go to the temple and see if we can pick up the quest real quick. Huh? So you can not bug near any better. I mean, there's more items to be gotten at our actual fucking area, right? But, uh, which we no longer have. I was seriously considering doing it this time. But, uh, I think we'll pass on it. I mean, obviously we have to pass on it. Maybe we'll actually do it legit next time. I'd actually love to storm the Red Wizard Enclave. There's some good shit in there for sure. Lots of XP. But uh, maybe we'll try that for next run. I'll try that for next run. Yeah, unfortunately, Nira can still be summoned, and I still don't understand why they can't be in the party. Edwin has practically not only left the Red Wizards, but fucking is actively killing their members. And for some reason, he doesn't want to be in a party with Nira. So that to me is fucking written by someone who hasn't thought the situation out fully. If Edwin's in Nira's company, he's the opportunity to either A, turn her into the Red Wizards if they show up, or B, have additional protection and safety when fighting the Red Wizards if they do show up. Edwin would take every advantage of that situation. There is no reason for him not to be in a party with fucking Nira, dude. In Throne of Ball. Shadows of Om, BG1. BG1, I'm with you. Shadows of Om, that's a maybe. In Throne of Ball, they should definitely be fucking compatible. 100%. I require rats. I would like to demand we stop. To help the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. Are you interested in hearing my proposal? What? An open invitation to fling spells at paladins. That's what I'm saying, dude. What, are we going to get angry if you kill red wizards? Nah, I don't know. Edwina and Nir. I don't think you can even invite her when Nir is in the party. He didn't murder a child. What a saint. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm actually a hero now. I'm a fucking hero. Let's go kill some paladins, boys. Whether former or not, I'm hankering to kill me some paladins. If you wish. I got a hankering for it. Yes, master. What should I fetch now? In the oh, guards. Name of the council, yes. I am here to keep order. Oh, I don't have my mask and vis up anymore. Oh no, the guards got stuck, so we can't leave. All right, there they go. No. Yeah, I don't know what happens when Edwina's in the party. If you try to invite Nera, I'm assuming she still he still won't he won't have it. Edwin wants nothing to do with it. Fuck off! Nobody cares about your stupid cancel. It's hard to say though. I mean, we murdered this chick with Edwin in the party. He didn't give two shits. They didn't say a damn word, man. Have you nothing else to do but Had nothing to say about it. By your leap, sir. This is just enemies only, isn't it? Enemies, yeah. So I don't want to accidentally aggro the fucking paladins. Renault de Chalion. Who the fuck used Entangle, dude? Now I gotta mute my sound effects. The camp is a throwing weapon hammer can inflict spell failure. It makes parties from sleep. Unconsciousness from wing buffet. That would actually be super useful, yeah. The unconsciousness effect from the wing buffet is probably the strongest thing because um, it comes with a negative 10 penalty to saves, so it's nearly impossible to successfully save versus it. The, wing, the knockback you can save first, but the unconscious shit? Almost never. Tankard. Yeah. At least the Red Wizards have stuff to sell. Yeah, that too. Oh, that's right, we get our boots, boys. It's been a long time since we had something to put on our feet here. Yeah, let's go and I do this shit. Plus two, plus two. She can use this shit. We can't. She can't, then we lose the ring. 
Edwin obviously can't. I obviously can't. Oh, this doesn't this doesn't work with uh, Dearness. Oh shit. Hmm. I don't want to lose this. Uh... Oh, she's wearing uh, this thing. That's right. Here we go. I think this is better than that. Yeah, it's because she had the cloak of protection on that, silly me. This sparrow is ready to fly. At your command, of course. What? Going through the forest almost every spell and a wild search with a full caster party would be something else. You're right about that one, dude. That would uh that does sound pretty delightful. And by delightful, I mean unenjoyable as fuck, so. Maybe you're right, my friend. Maybe we made the right choice. Yeah, I don't remember. That's the thing that I hated about the beam dog areas is every single one of them is the outdoors, and yet somehow there's traps there. Traps are for dungeons, not for outdoor areas. There are very, very few places in the game outside where there's traps. And I think 99% of them are spiders. In BG1, you have the spider webs in a couple different locations, and that was mostly it. You don't find traps outdoors. But every single beam dog area had a fucking trap in it. M multiple traps in many cases. And that shit drives me crazy, because, like, I know where most of the traps are in BG2, so I can walk up to them and disarm them, but, like, when you don't know the area, and the areas are massive, you basically have Yan walking forward a few steps, like, every six seconds, and it's like... How fucking brutal is that? Sod crest tra traps make sense? Maybe, dude. Maybe. Yes. Search yeah, the I forest know. for cats. What? Yeah, that sounds pretty fun for sure. Does anybody here know who Renaud de Chateleon is? Besides Yopamaras, who has probably heard of him. Yes. I'll help however I can. At your oh. service. Yes. Hmm. Kobold casters and ogre mages. That sounds awful, it's dude. Done. A trapper warns. Yeah, I mean, I. But you know, there's traps, but there's so many. So it just. What I'm saying is like. You remember when we did that area? It took me 20 minutes, dude. It took me literally 20 minutes to complete the whole amphitheater, man. That was fucking... It took fucking forever, man. It took forever. As I thought. What is it? What can I do? There's a lot of improved haste, boys. Let's go do it up. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm busy. I fucking love it, dude. I have a hundred people standing right here. Yeah, that's true. If you wish, honorable men are hard to come by. Care to dance? Care to be a celebrity? I mean, prepare to be a eviscerated fool, not obviously care. That's just silly. Let's see what else we got here. We really don't have too many AoE spells anymore. Not until we get a uh, board wilting and whatnot. Let's just drop them, boys. I love all the attacks we have, dude. This Wait, what? Will be done. Did we somehow knock somebody into the fucking, like, wall over here? And they're confused and stunned so they can't get out? Oh shit. I don't think they're invisible. Yes. 
Hey! There's another one, like, right here. Alright, I gotta be careful with the harp of pandemonium, dude. Apparently bards are too OP, boys. Apparently bards are too fucking strong. Alright, alright. Settle down here. Okay. Alright, alright, game. You, you got me. You got me this time, game. You got me, buddy. Fucking. Alright. You see his AoE spells? I mean, maybe. I could have dropped like 50 cloud kills there, and then I'd expect like some random dude to walk in and die. That was one of the, the only way I know how to kill Chandelar on a regular basis is with skull traps, and then all it takes is for one random idiot to fucking walk into him and pop him early. And then you just set them all off too early, and then Chandelar is like, you asshole, I'm gonna kill you, and... <sighs> That's why we never kill Chandelar in our runs, by the way, if anyone was wondering. is because, uh... We haven't found a way to do it 100% every time without causing an accident. Yeah, yeah. Or basically burning down the whole fucking city. I guess we could all just fucking like uh, drop a bunch of shit on him, but even then he just resists everything. Hmm. He's just a resistor. Oh, it's actually really worth it. 20k uh, per person. No, more rep. Puke. Wait, I can't even use this. Wait, everyone can use it except mages? Really? Huh. I don't want your fucking gloves anyway. Get your shitty gloves out of here, dude. want nothing to do with it, you hear me? I'm digging these boots, though. Yeah, those are some nice boots. Good. Alright, 22 oils of speed, man. Holy fuck. I'm gonna take these out of here. <clears throat> nice, I think we're kept on that now, too. Yeah, don't fuck. Look at the amulets of power in there. We we'll take out all the oils though, and then we have plenty of space again. That works. We can actually put that in there, put those in there. Perfect. Yes. I do like the temple music now, it's good. Gets upset when accidentally killing a peasant but murdering all his daughters just makes him complain and teleport to the item where his cloak is right away. Yeah, it seems to tear it in the end. I actually didn't mean that killing the peasant upsets him, it's that the peasant walks into half the skull traps that are needed to kill him, which sets him off, which hits him, which turns him hostile, which means he then throws up Glove of Invulnerability, which is basically makes him immune to everything in the game. Because he is. He, his innate, his base AC is like negative 20, so you can't hit him without a crit. And then Globe of Invulnerability makes him immune to everything but level 5 spells, so... If by that point you have multiple cloud kills you can drop on him, you can still take him out. But, like, even then, it's like... I think his magic resistance is through the roof. Fire resistance, same way. Like, you, I'll drop, like, 10 skull traps on him, which would obliterate anybody else, right? That'd be, what, 10 times 8... 80d8, 80d6 maybe, yeah, 80d6, which would do up to, you know, an enormous amount of damage, it would be 400, no, 8 times 6 is 42, right, yeah, no, 36, 42, 48, okay, yeah, up to 480 damage, Chandelar's at like 100, and that wouldn't kill him, yeah, it'd, it'd still be close for sure. Oh, we gotta go back to the government and turn in the lithium ore for Sir Sarls here, and then we should be good to go to Spellhold, boys. Should be good to make our way to Spellhold at last. To give Irenicus the dicking he so rightly deserves, boys. 
What are you guys getting stuck on, seriously? They're getting stuck on each other? Is there something going on back here between Edwin and Aerie I need to know about, boys? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I need you to stop being retarded. Bitch, you can't get here from there! This fucking elf was dropped on her head as a child. 16 intelligence. That explains so much. Wait, I have 13. Fuck. Alright. I may have low intelligence, but I have 200 IQ. Ari doesn't have that. Ari has neither high intelligence nor 200 IQ, alright? He's throwing that out there here. Should we murder Sir Sarles, you think? I could go for that. I don't want to lose out on my reward. I'll go collect my reward and then come back and kill him. That'll make me feel better. Then again, I don't know. I got like a, a full long laundry list of people that really need to die. Also, when did the Ronals attack fucking Nalia's bitch ass? I've had her in my party the whole time. I swear, I remember. Maybe that's actually part of the, the Warrior Stronghold quest. Maybe I'm crazy. I remember the fucking Ronals actually attacking the keep. But that might just be part of the Warrior Stronghold quest. I know they dropped some decent full plate items. Definitely some decent cash. Not like amazing weapons, but you easily make 10k off that fight for sure. This class for a solo run? Sorcerer, probably. Cleric Mage is actually really good, too. The thing is that sucks about multi-class is you level up so slow, but since you're soloing and getting max XP, you're basically increasing your XP by more than twice as much anyways. So, in BG1 especially. So you actually level up to where you get your good spells so early that being a Cleric Mage is not a handicap whatsoever. So if I were to solo, I would probably go multi for sure. Speak with the Dawnbringer. As I, thought. I don't think the Dawnbringer wants to do anything to do with me. In fact, we might have actually already killed the Dawnbringer. Unfortunate. Yeah. I don't think uh, the Dawnbringer wants to talk to us. I don't think this is a quest we can complete. Hmm. Well, where's the Dawnbringer? Maybe we can charm him. This sparrow is ready to fly. At your command. Cool. Enter here to lease. And I'll do it. Maybe we actually have any charms. Alright, we have one domination. Yes. We have one attempt here, boys. Alright, let's hit him with uh let's hit him with the Malison. Fuck, where's my Malison? Do I not have a Malison? No, it's down. Yeah, we don't have a Malison anybody. Alright. So we gotta Doom a guy. Doom and then Charmin, boys. That's our only hope. No, this is the wrong guy. We charmed him in order to buy shit from him. That's... That's the next level right there. 
Hell, those boots are actually pretty good. This is actually hilarious to me. Well, this is the wrong Dawnbringer, unfortunately. <laughs> While I'm here, might as well pick up some potions of genius. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch, dude. Alright. Is there anybody else up here? Uh, okay, here's the actual Dunbringer we do need to talk to and charm. Right, let's go outside, see if we can get a wrist off, and come back and then charm this guy. Yeah, we got a rest In the off. name of the council. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm busy, okay? I'm busy. You need oh, I can do that. What the fuck? What? You What should I bet now? A fair gambit. Yes. I will do what I must. Don't I can hear you just fine. What? Ah, uh, fuck, he got uncharmed instantly. Damn. I don't think there's really anything else we can do here. We're gonna have to go outside and memorize multiple charms, I think. Probably our best bet. I haven't given up on this quest, though. Wait, there's more morning nights down here? Alright. I have to love this game. Never ceases to amazing. Mass and Viz. Yeah, we'll go for a Mass and Viz on the other side. <sighs> Let's see. Who else has Dire Charm? He's got Domination here. Yes. Let's go for that. Okay. What? Perfect. I can hear you just fine. Yes. Yeah, we'll be back in a bit. Stop hitting me, jackass. This is faster than Chiquita fast pause. What? Doing everything I can to help this guy, and he's just fighting me every step of the way, boys. 
He's fighting me every step of the way, and I don't get it. I am a champion of the common people. I haven't murdered a single innocent person while I've been in this city. I'm pretty, pretty sure. I might have. I might have, actually. But I don't think I did. And I... All I did was steal a fucking statue, and then everyone in there went hostile. I was defending myself. This was completely uncalled for, over-aggression, yes. by the Temple of Lathander for no reason whatsoever. For all they know, that could have been somebody who looked just like me doing the exact same thing I did. You know what I mean, boys? He was wrong. Hey, what the hell? Where's the dude? Wait, did I not actually get the quest, even though I talked to him and he gave me the quest? Hmm. I'd wager the turnip hmm. market's making a killing today. Well, let's go see if we can uh, break into Bornol's house up here. See what happens. There should be a dude who spawns right here and tells you where to go. Oh, it has to be a knight? Okay. You not heard of felony murder? I don't think that exists in this city. Yeah, the dude ain't here. Oh, what the fuck? Alright then. Yeah, I don't fucking think so, dude. I'll take those in this box there for sure. Okay. Well, we're here. We'll check one last time for the fucking uh, the ransom dude. Never know, boys. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. And I am fucking starving, dude. What should I eat, boys? Filthy beggars, dude. Get out of here. Subway? Actually, not a fan of the subways here. They're uh... the whole motto is eat fresh, but every time I've eaten there, it's like that's not that fresh. What? I could say it's the opposite of fresh. Yeah, they've they've disappointed me so many times in the past that I don't know if it's even viable. Have you nothing else to do? Yeah, I'm a man, I'm a man who enjoys this pizza. That's for sure. I'm definitely a man who enjoys his pie. Ah, I know a discerning eye when I see one. I like how he says, I am not without my defenses, and then he dies instantly. Yes. I enjoyed that. These are not the best muggers in the world, that's for sure. I got a fucking charm that stupid jackass again to give him the fucking dawn ring. Ugh. The things I do to complete a quest, boys. The things I do to complete quests. I wonder if maybe if I charm the bitch with the silver pantaloons, then it'll open up a no, because I can talk to her anyway, so the dialogue option won't change. Damn. Yeah, there's no way that would end up working out. What is it now? No, oh, well. I like there's a there's a shadow thief just chilling outside. No fucks given. Eh, you know I got shit to do. Hanging out at the temple. It looks like he's playing dice. That's what all shadow thieves look like. Where can I be of 
others. Always willing to try. Oh, yeah. I'm busy. This guy have any decent spells? Not really. Have you You would have made a fine cleric. Thanks, buddy. The morning lord welcomes you to his site. Yeah. Yes, my fine, fine. Yes. Just I wonder what happens if like how do you complete this quest if you've already killed the dude? Do they even say, like, well, I had a quest to give you, but you already killed the guy, so... Is that the end, or, like... As I thought. Elm requires nothing further for the moment. You will be summoned if you Simple. are needed. I, mean, I should probably let him live, just in case. Anything that can be delivered, it's good and fast to eat. Hell yeah, dude. That's the dream right there. I think we're ready, boys. I think we're actually ready. Done, 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 done. Yeah. The last fights are dragons, liches, guarded compounds. So I think we're good to go, boys. We're finally, at long last, ready for the game to crash. Fucking. There's a lot of anticlimactic shit happening today. There's a lot of shit happening today. At least we got the autosave, boys. Yes. We got the autosave. Promenade fight? You want me to do the promenade before we go to Spellhold? I'll do that for you if that's what you want, my boy. We'll do the promenade fight. We'll give him the business. The business that they so justly deserve. Let's do it up, man. Let's do it up. Oh, we're not gonna die, dude. We're gonna crush them. The grind them. Oh, we're gonna fuck them up so bad, dude. They're gonna wish they never fucking fought us before. They tried to confuse my party, so I took their lives. Let's go, boys. Huh? This sparrow. Let's give him the business, boys. Ready up? Yes, simple. Aye, a fair gambit. Timber's bad enough without ye bothering me. What? If you wish. I will do what I must. Bah, you useless. I do not care how much you've been covered all the time. What? Yes, yes, a standard tactic that. I'll hurt you if I smack you into the back. I can hear you just fine. Have you nothing else to do but bother me? I'm meddle to be on a doom guard. I strike a blow. What should I do? Easy. That's how we roll, boys. I can carry 
no more. We roll so hard I can't even carry any more shit. That's how we do it. That's how we let them know. Oh wait, what's this do again? Oh, it's the charisma helm. Trash. I actually want Talos gift. Oops. That is not a potion, it turns out. Oh um, yeah, she doesn't need that. I see. Fate beckons us all. It's over here. Nothing? Okay, good what? shit. Yeah, we we had our uh We had our retribution here, boys. We had our redemption. We pulled it off. Keep putting the wrong shit in that fucking container. Oh well. What's the shit? Oh, it's the curse preserving sword. That's right. Hmm. Give that to her. This is just once per day. The once per day one's actually pretty useful. Because you can use it forever. Unlike the one in the original game where it was like literally, you know. You use it like a couple times then it's gone forever. Despite being one of the most expensive items in the fucking game. Blah, blah, Harry. It's also part to kill Desolaris in the Bridge District. Or limited wish quest, but need a wand of frost and walk around the frost and magical kill them because a returning dagger plus two. Huh. Oh, yeah, I remember that shit. I remember that shit. We'll do that later, though. I want to get the spell hold. Oh, I'm so fucking tired and hungry. Probably gonna be cold in here in a minute. And then we'll have all of the Underdark to do tomorrow, boys. So that should be fun. Underdark is personally my favorite part of BG2. I love the drow. I love fucking... We're, and we are going to be giving it another attempt. We are going to attempt Dyrex. We are going to attempt fucking... Uh, we're going to kill Adelon. And we are going to kill... Uh, we're going to storm uh, House Gillette and all those other fuckers, dude. Have you started Watcher's Keep? No, I, usually, I typically save Watcher's Keep for... Um, for... What's the word? Throwing a ball. I suppose I could actually start it now and give me another decent chunk of XP. That would get me super fucking uh, close to level 8 for myself. Edwin's going to be a hot minute before he actually gets his level 8 spells. And to be fair, until he does, there's really no way we kill Adelon. Uh, actually, maybe. Adelon might be doable. Adelon might be doable. It'll be close for sure, though. Yeah, I actually think we'll save it here. We won't actually go to Spellhold yet. I might need to buy a few potions of cold resistance before we go. Just to make sure we take care of Adelon. We are going to kill her right away. Well, I mean, we're going to do the Drow City first, then we're going to kill her. But, uh, yeah. Just like last time. We fucked her up last time. We're going to fuck her up again, boys. Yeah, the Cloak of Detection stuff's working, T.O.B.? Yeah. And to be fair, like, under that was the thing I really liked about BG1, right? Was even Saravok didn't come with broken shit. He was a regular fucking character. If you got his saves low enough, you could hit him with a fucking fear. It was hard, but it was doable. And I really, and I like that a lot. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and save it here, boys. Thank you so much for watching, my dudes. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We'll be starting tomorrow at 10 a.m., assuming something fucking terrible doesn't happen. Eastern Standard Time. Greatly appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a fucking awesome day, a fucking awesome night. Whatever you want to do in life, you're going to succeed because you're the best. I love you. God love you. Everything's going to work out well for us, lads. Thank you so much again for watching, dudes. If any of you are new here, hit that follow button down at the bottom. We have a YouTube. We have a Discord. We have a Twitter. All sorts of ways to follow us on social media here. My, U my um, YouTube video I'm working on should be done hopefully by the weekend. We'll have it up then, and it will just be arcane spells. And I'll start working on cleric spells and some other shit after that. And I think that's it, guys. We'll see you next time, tomorrow, bright and early, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm out, my friends. God bless, and thanks for watching, dudes. We'll see you.